when we last left off, our intrepid heroes made it to Rose Tower, the town around the Tower of Roses. They delivered Lucette, a young Amazon mage, to her stepdad, who was very happy to see her and very dismayed to hear that her mom, uh, Renacia the War Mage from Lyris, has gone missing after having gotten sucked through a portal, apparently. You couldn't make heads or tails of the portal mechanism, but it sure did spit out horrible bloodthirsty flensing monsters when you spilled blood on it, which was less than ideal. Luckily, they were too stupid to attack you instead of the dead people. Yay! And the headless body shambled around completely helplessly. Yep. The party dispatched the risen dead that those shadows created and then got to Rose Tower. You had your chance to go check out the tavern where you found Kieran and Talonora's uh, half sister who got into a bar fight with the party's tiefling barbarian. Uh, said Amazon, which turned out to be really good at donkey punching and also getting knocked unconscious by a barbarian. She got knocked out, she got knocked out twice. Who would have guessed that the barbarian is uh, pretty good at uh, bar combat? Yeah, who, who would have thought that a barbarian would uh, completely decimate a wizard who's half his level in a fist fight? Uh, let's see, you checked out Rolo's Curios, found that there was a very special ring he had in stock, and agreed to go do some adventure archaeology for him in exchange for the ring. He figures he'll make a good deal on that with publishing rights to the ruins you are going to go check out. And having done that, he went to the Ooh, Temple nice. of Nefri, where you met Samira, a ranger. She's cute. No one else. We didn't meet anyone else there. Yep, just no one else. Girl. Just, no, just we met that girl. nice uh, sister who uh, ran the temple. Yeah, yeah, you definitely did. You went out and had drinks with her. She was great. Sister Gilded. Yeah, yeah she's yep. great. What Wasn't sweetie. she coming on our adventures? She said she was coming with us, right? What, Nafri? No, Sister Gilden. Oh, of course, yes, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, she totally. she did she did say that, and then while she and Ina were out picking uh, blueberries for a pie, uh, there was a raven that swooped over them, and then suddenly there was no more Sister Golden. Yeah, clearly she just went back to the temple, and we should go there and meet her. Yeah. Uh, between sessions in the RP chat, uh, we found out Kieran did have a nice heart to heart with Arena. They uh, actually talked like mature adults, which is weird. Super strange. Very Super cute. Super strange. Okay. Ina's okay. delighted. Uh, let's see. And Xana and Cassa made up because uh, Cassa didn't realize she was being an asshole. And uh, Xana was kind of mean to her right back. But now they're best friends. Yay. You mean the fucking social? Bestest of friends. Indeed, the hyper social bard versus the shelter celebrity kid trying to understand and properly work out, you know, social interaction that they never had. Look, if you're a bar, anyone like ripping a bump of white lightning whilst wearing sunshades and a leather jacket, like I didn't mean to be an asshole, okay? Look, if you're gonna to do people. If you're gonna learn social interaction from anyone, Bard's probably the best choice to teach well, you. The, Bard's the, probably not the best choice. No, it, it definitely is. But also, the Bard in that party is your cousin. Uh, Cassa is a stone sorcerer. Yeah. No, she can. Raylan, Raylan was the musician. Your cousin. Yes. Can, however, jam out. Not great, but you know. of course she has a banjo. <laughs> <laughs> I am like, <laughs> to be played every time Kieran walks into the titty fest. Yeah, exactly. But more importantly, it's because she has this, which is a fucking amazing feat. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then Santa just whips out the fucking shit flute and just tries to go ahead. Toot. Is there no limit per day on that? Like no. Just oh, wow. Wow. That's yeah. busted. Their whole just... party just constantly has inspiration. But hey, guess what? I got I got good news for you guys. 
Do you, yeah. do you know what it is? Tetiana also has that feat. Yes. Ah, yeah, say, Tetiana's Tetiana. given us that before, I'm pretty sure. Yes. You just need to shake more actual performances out of her. Yeah, she can indeed uh, do that. I'm going to trick her into singing a sexy ballad for B. Oh, no. Also, uh, she has the most important special ability for any uh, class level less disabled uh, hireling. Charge. Yep. Centaur's going to centaur. Centaurs That's do powerful. be centaur, though. Centaur abilities do be powerful. If only she could see where she's charging to, though. Yeah. Uh, so there's a pretty high probability that she just crashes into one of you. But it's fine. This is why she needs blind fighting because it gives her these <laughs> blind sight <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That would be pretty useful <laughs> if she was yeah. a fighter. Which she not. not. She used Too to crash as a noodle. I mean, you say noodle, well, but actually she has a positive strength score. Too too pleasant and soft, sorry. Not noodle. There you go. Yeah, she is she is negative dex for obvious reasons. Well, yeah. But yeah, she does have a, a total strength. She is a, a mighty hoss. So mighty, so hoss. So mighty, so hoss. The rest is in her, you know, charisma and constitution because she's smashing into things so often that she has to become party. Constitution 10, Int and Wiz, both 14. And then, yeah, max charisma, as you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Teddy good. And then, yeah, the party spent the night at the inn. Uh, Ina flirted with Samira some, and then you decide to go check out the Tower of Roses come morning with the hopes that Arid has actually prepared spells that would be useful outside of just defending his tower from horrible kobolds. We've, we've all seen what happens when a powerful wizard does not have their combat spells prepared, and they're like, why? Why didn't I have fireball? Yeah, why would a wizard just sitting in their tower prepare any combat spells? The Lady Magister thought before getting dragged into sewer hell with nothing yeah. but cantrips. Look, if you, I, that's it's why I like Aranyami because she knows that. Look, it's better to have to wait a day than to suddenly need a thing and not have it. Pretty much, until you suddenly need that utility power right then and there. Oh, that's why she keeps a couple of scrolls of them. But like that, they are more efficient to just have as the occasional scroll. If you're like, oh god, I really need to scry a thing. Okay, I need to do that once. I don't need to do five scryings in a day. I need to do five fireballs though. If shit really hits the fan. <laughs> if you're able to do five scryings in a day, then you have other problems. Exactly. Exactly. So just I have so no doubt have that prepped. wizard is perfectly capable of doing five scryings. Uh, I have to check. I think so. Like, that's a loss. Like, it's a very high wizard. I'm not I sure. Mean... Yeah, she's real stonk, but scrying itself is level. It's level. It's yeah. level. Do you get, like, yeah. two or three slots of fifth, sixth, seventh? That's plenty. Yeah, she just upcast. Eek. Yeah, I'm just saying, you'd have to upcast it to fifth level. So let's Eek. see here. Uh, let's see here. Eight. Five. I'll just I'll just Three, look at uh, the four. Senatreia's sheet. Let's see. How, how uh, she'd have to be a fifteenth level wizard to cast it five times a day. Oh, then she can. Yeah. Yeah. She's an eighteenth level wizard. That's exactly what I would have pegged her at. Yeah. Uh -huh. Who? Aranyani. Aranyani. The woman making your dream charm. Oh. The woman turned Grace into a pretzel. Right. Her. Okay. An all-rounder sweetie pie. Mm -hmm. That's about the same. Anyhow, and so upper-level spell slots know. are sad when you look at it. Like, you only get one for the longest time. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah, you gotta have a crystal ball catch a Myron. I mean, they, look, they can't have... They can't have, like, how it was in 3.5 when the wizard could have, like, four, four ninth-level spell slots. They can't allow that kind of power uh, anymore. I guess, yeah. I mean, they probably could, really. Oh, they could. They probably won't. It'd be a terrible idea. 
I don't think okay, five spells are really that, especially that strong in 5e, aside from like a select few. This is why you get to make a ring of spell story that can hold ninth level. Well, just... maybe not ninth level spells, but you can sure as hell upcast uh, more useful spells as ninth level spells. Fireball. Yeah. Vitriolic sphere. Yeah, that's that's true, I suppose. Some I love that Vitriolic sphere. If you just want to make someone, if you want to make someone disappear, <laughs> upcast Summon a, the vulture feast, or you could up, you could up cast a disintegrate as a ninth level spell and just make someone go away. Yeah. Anyway, does though. Vitriolic sphere go? Oh wow! It increases by two d four per spell level. Per spell level. I wow! Know, right. It's just a bad that's... fireball. That's crazy. Yeah, vitriolic sphere is really good. Yeah, yeah it's and fine. it's and it's fucking acid as well, which is yeah, which is a much better much damage type. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, it's disgustingly good. Yeah, I I mean like I didn't expect it to go up by two d four each time. I thought the idea of like regular spells, which is just, like a dice. It's a spicy meat the bomb. Yeah, gotta incentivize you to buy the slap that's from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's fair it. enough. So anyway, then, uh, <laughs> four. Four times at the anyway. ninth level. So, the party has arrived at the Tower of Roses, except for Asuka, who went to go check on where some kobolds might be found in the future. Yay, kobold. The rain is starting to pitter-patter down, but it's just a light drizzle moment. It's going to get bad fairly soon, though. Might want to mm -hmm. get, a, get a leg on things. Yep. Yeah. Up ahead of you, the golems have resumed their posts, but you do see Lucette and a charming cat boy sitting next to her under a parasol. He appears to be Ain't shaping pretty clay they. with his they hands. Pretty man. He do be pretty, though. I did not care what saying so that's yeah, it's pretty. Well. Shaping oh, clay. Just... He's shape, shaping clay with his hands. Okay. Yes. Quite well, too. He rolled like a 20 on his statuary tools chest. Eat. Yes. What do? Approach and wave. What ho, gentle meow. Lady Lucette. Lucy will set down her tea and wave enthusiastically as you approach. The cat folk whisper something to her. She nods and he will stand up and wave the control rod. Golem lumbers slowly out of the way. Thum, thum, yeah, thum. This will call down. Hi, guys! Hey, Luce. Has the sending been attempted yet, or uh, are we in time to find out what's up? Not yet. Arid so wanted to wait for you just in case. Ah, okie doke. said you're invested. We are invested. I am kind of glad. Sorry if it had you fidgeting in anticipation. It's fine. He's a late riser anyway. He's still drinking his coffee. Ah, fair. Oh, uh, this is my brother, Frajan. Hey, nice to meet you. Also, I love your outfits. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, appreciate it. You must be Ina, right? That'd be right. Yes, your mother came around a few days ago, lovely woman. She is a very good ma'am. Oh, come on in and up. All the golems should let you pass. Sure, will do. Oh, actually, hold that. Looks like Dad's mm -hmm. finally waking up. Oh, cool. The scrying pool's down there, so we'll be down in a bit. Ah, right here. And a couple of minutes later, a trio of wizards, each looking progressively less weary than the last, will shuffle on out. Jean carries a big parasol to protect him, and Luce uh, Arid has, of course, a big old wizard hat. He is quite bleary-eyed, but he's got his spellbook couched under an arm. Yawn and give you all a slight up nod. Goose will absolutely accept a hug. 
Sí, pica. Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning, uh, Lord Aaron. <clears throat> Rough night's sleep. Yes, I have to admit I'm a bit worried about Venicia. Oh, I'm sure she's fine. I'm sure if she's encountered monsters, anything she can solve with a sword she is, it's just that... Well, the portal you described doesn't sound like something that can be conquered with a blade. All hmm. right, let's get this underway. Yes. I'll call Rajan over, who will plant the parasol, the three of them. I'll set his spellbook out on the lip of the fountain, put one hand to it, and dab the other two fingers on his hand into the water itself and close his eyes. And hmm. about 30 seconds passes during which you can see he is moving his eyes rapidly, as if deep in dreams. Luce looks obviously pensive, Rajan curious. The golem watches all of you impassively. Golem's golemly. He does golem golemly, yes. Then Ered's eyes snap open. He closes his spellbook with finality. Well, the good news, Luz, is that she's alive. The bad news is she has no idea where she is. Weird. Can you describe the place? I asked her to, yes. She said she arrived on a bitterly cold, heavily forested coastline. Which would make me think of Ervainen or perhaps the Charwood, except she said she was surrounded by Anubians. Um. Yeah, strange. There aren't many, if any, up north. And nor did these speak any of her languages. She's been communicating with gestures and apparently with their tails wagging. Well, I mean, if there are waggy tails, that sounds like good news. Yeah, she said they were agreeable enough. They haven't threatened her in any way. They're taking her to some place that she can't pronounce properly, much less describe. But beyond that, she's not sure what's going on. Said to send her again in the day. And we'll hmm. try and figure out what's going on. Ah, oh, well, that is a mixed bag. I'm just glad that she's not in danger. Lots of wacky Anubians on a storm coast, though. Yes, it's strange. They describe them as pale Anubians, too, which, aside from Beatrice here, are fairly rare. Is it some kind of fey, then, or a shifter? Mm, could be. I mean, I guess it would be like a lot of them, but... She said but they had... happen in large numbers? She said they had foxy tails, too, just that Ooh. only one each. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I'm just going to pause and look at her tail. Are you 100% sure she is on this plane? No, not at all. Uh, the good news with sending is that it doesn't matter where you are. She could be in the Abyss, or in the Feywild, or anywhere else. She could come from my, uh, grandma's origin, wherever that is. Spreads his hands. I already tried scrying as soon as I woke up this morning, with no luck. Which <laughs> does suggest she's probably on another plane, if she's outdoors. Yeah. It's so weird. That is very weird. That sort of thing doesn't oh, happen very often. No, totally not. Um, if and it's, if it's if, like the plane where my gramgrams came from, then it there should be like hacker wizards somewhere. Otherwise, they wouldn't have gotten here in the first place and made me, or made my mom and then made me. 
So I think that's good news. Feels a little bad that it's a guess, but it's a good guess. Well, maybe she's in, not in like the north. Maybe she's like the opposite, like the south. Hmm. It's theorized that there's more land beyond Hasira, but no one's ever explored that way. Though again, surely they'd speak would've... common or Nubian or something. Well, what's so what... common, right? Here that'd be a runin, but in the Empire that's Imperial Goblin. Well, Goblin, in Hasira, yeah. Hasiran. There's no one world language. Mm, true. Yeah, so... I'd have figured though the extent beyond would have been still Hasiran common. It's just like I mean, sure we aren't in the Empire, but a large number of us know Hobgoblin. Or know what it sounds like when we hear it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, how many of you would thing, know a siren when you hear it? How many of you have even met one? Ooh, a couple of holes up hand. Really? That's unusual. Mm. Relatively few people have Same. in this continent. Uh, Mom's super traveled, and I've met at places where other super travel people come from. Just makes up thumbs, what, what she, essentially what she said. Fair enough. And Renesia's traveled fairly wide as well. Still not well enough, apparently. I guess. Oh, hmm. uh, Luce. She said to pass on her love and that she's safe. But she doesn't have her spell book, so all she has available is combat magic. Oh, um, I've got her spell book. If, if, you know, we could find a way to get it to her. We can always try throwing it through the portal, but to find out how to open it safely, and that I'm not willing to risk with you around. I wouldn't risk it at, at all. Um, portals seem to be a running theme for, like, terrible random danger from beyond. Yes, exactly. That's why the Senatrian Church usually forbids them. Mm. And you should probably keep this to yourselves, a look especially at Ina, lest uh, some Rosella's clerics come and destroy Renacia's way home. No, they wouldn't do that. I beg Renacia is Senatrae in herself, and Senatrae knows that she is respected. I don't think any god would risk the world for one person. That is potentially true, but also one person is capable entirely of changing a world, so. I wouldn't worry about that out of hand. Yes, well, better safe than sorry, so yeah. keep it mum. Yeah, I'll keep it stable. <sighs> well, that's odd news. Super is. I'm really intrigued. As am I. I will consult my library, see if I can find any references to a place like she described, but my guess would be no. Rajan, I want you to head to Avara. See if you can dredge up anything from that old bookseller. You know the one. Seriously? That's so far away. Yes, and what do I have an apprentice for if not to go do things for me, so get gone? Yes, father. Oh, I've yet to be to Avara. If you're still there, where do you think you'll be staying? It'd be cool to have someone we know when we head down there, eventually. Uh, that's a good question. I've only been a couple times. Uh, there's a tavern near the city center of uh, the Wolf's Den. Probably there. Awu. Awu, indeed. Excellent. Although, ironically, it's run by an Anubian. I mean, it's it's close to Wolfie. That's what most people they, say. They are, they are, bork, they are bork adjacent, just like Fox says. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm gonna go pack a bag then. I'm back in a bit. Good luck with your travels. Um, well, that is an... That does raise a question, since we barely know anything 
of the Eastern continent. Yes, go ahead. The things beyond there and you know, beyond the empire and all that stuff worldwide, world-wise, sorry. They could just be completely ocean separated land masses completely devoid of any other outside contact. You not only could there be, there is. We know that there's another continent past the Empire, but unfortunately no Arunans ever managed to contact them for uh, obvious reasons. And the ocean to our east is too vast to explore by ship, so who knows what's there? No one's able to find anything. Yeah, via airway or who knows what's up in the air that learn to fly out that way as well. True. They say the goddess's holy city floats. It could be that there are land masses in the sky. Though I doubt that there would be any that we have heard of. That sort of thing attracts attention. Yeah, land masses well, in the sky, that sounds like the elemental chaos. Precisely. Which, luckily, it seems Renacia didn't fall into, so that's good. That oh, is... that's actually good. Yes. Yeah. Well, if she was there, then we would know where she is, at least, and... Well, we'd know what plane, but that doesn't narrow it down a whole lot as to how to get to her. Fortunately, uh, gateways there and back are uh, vexingly rare. And also, it's a whole plane that's constantly in motion, apparently, so good luck finding anybody there. True. Probably for the best that she landed somewhere terrestrial. We just don't know where. <sighs> just... I hope it doesn't sound like I'm making light of it. I just love the sound of a grand new land, especially if it's full of papos. That's incredibly cool. <laughs> Yes, I'm sure if Lucette was with her, she'd be enjoying herself, but... Alas. Yeah. Don't worry, sweetie. We're going to find your mother. Just going to take a while. Yeah, I know. You... you got it. I'm just nervous, still. Well, we are going to be heading over to Bard Town, so... If there any obscure esoteric lore or information, there probably a line or two that I might know. Mm. And I know a few people who are incredibly storied. I can ask around. Um, do you have like a... Wait, shit. I don't even know if uh, rangers get sending on their list at all. Uh, uh, check the no primal idea. list. I'm pretty sure it's arcane only. Yeah. Maybe things have changed. Uh, gotta open the thing. It probably hasn't. Uh, 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 uh. I know it fell did. off the cleric list, which annoys Final me list greatly. gets fucked, you know? Oh, it did? Oh, oh, off. Shit. Fucking so weird. That's what we call ultra gay. Yep. Well, you see, we only got it added to our list because of Tasha's, I'm pretty sure, so... Lamau. Well, then you're saying Tasha's wrong? Uh, yes. She Tasha rules all the well. time. <laughs> no, she's she's wrong all the time. That is her entire existence. Oh, woo. Oh, woo. Where the shit is this? Uh, go to the index at the bottom. It'll be under P for primal. And there's your spell list. Thank you. That Stop said, hilariously, Sending is an evocation spell, and I think that's the one school rangers are forbidden. No, you're kidding. <laughs> Wait, they have forbidden <laughs> Yeah, rangers have one no, forbidden spell. Send, no, Sending is divination. No, it's yeah, not. No... I just hold, I just control oh, did F they, for Sending. Did they it's change right it? In the... Okay, that makes sense. It's evocation in 5e. It makes, it makes sense. Why is it divination? evocation? Fuck it's if a, I know. It says divination, and there's a little star next to it, which okay, says which means yeah, they changed it. it. Okay, that's, uh, same that's with telepathy. Good. 
and it uh, isn't evocation. What why the fuck? Evocation? Yeah, I can only imagine. They, they made, they made send of... it. Also, check divination. I think divination might also, for whatever reason. Uh well, let's see. Expert classes, Ranger. You can... What does the little star mean there? That means they changed. It means it's it. changed from it what it used changed. to be. Let's yeah. see. Oh, okay, so yeah, rangers can prepare from any spell school except evocation right now. Yeah, that part I'm I'm I get. Uh, okay. Right. Sending is not so, on that list at all. Yeah, no, it's arcane only right now. That's a shame. It is because I feel like she would have given she would have had a consideration to try Anna just because she'd been like yes i've read all of the books ever I was like well that's interesting <laughs> but no i don't have sending i can't do it yeah also you're way too low level anyway true but you can try it with a scroll can't you uh yes you can attempt yeah. it yeah. yes just has to be on your spell list somewhere yeah alas it not cannot it's do not. Right, well, if you know somebody at Deathic Dale and you're heading there, that would be good. The bards there are from all over the world, even as far as Asira and the Empire. They might well know. Well, just as good a chance there as in my dusty old library. Thumbs up. I don't like that. <laughs> you can get some real cool stuff out of dusty old libraries. Oh, I yes, know. Yes, although you oh, should yeah. probably dust the place. <laughs> Rolls his eyes. Uh, right. Well, I know the mistress of the Dale knows sending, so if you find anything relevant, just have her pass it on to me. Will they? Meantime, back to research, then. And, okay. uh... Safe travels. The storm's looking rather mighty. Yeah, we're gonna be hanging around until the storm blows over its worst, I think. Oh, barge isn't gonna move on in it. Good. Smart. Smart. We need us, we'll be crashing at the tavern. Thanks for this, you guys. I really appreciate it. Hey, no worries. Hey, we thought we would get you an outbind. At I least know. either, so. But still, it's way more than you had to do, so thank you. Yeah, what the fuck is for? She smiles big just and just it. pulls Xana to hug. Yay. Sure. Yeah. Well, wait, uh, how tall is Lucette? Uh, Lucette is at the moment. She's an Amazon kid, she so I'd imagine they're a lot taller than a team. Yeah. Oh, she's only two inches taller than. Yeah, yeah that's not bad, then. Yes. I figured she was like a six and a half feet or something like that, like a big cooney. When she's full grown, probably, but for now. She has just five times. So we'll get there. There is thankfully no awkward moment. Okay. Well, well you, you get hugged and someone asks you to take a seat. Like, come <laughs> on, that's not fair. <laughs> right. Well, I'm going to go help Rajan pack, I guess. Sure thing. Um, stay dry. Well, well it's not going to be going anywhere. We're staying completely storm, dry. So... Not even before we leave. Oh, he will. He'll just teleport. Oh, boo cheating. Stupid magics. <laughs> Very convenient. Yeah, can't really fault. If you can, you can do it. Rumbles. I can fault it. I feel like there's a lot of places I probably just wouldn't teleport, even though I could. And I get a turbo bad pinch, maybe I could. I don't know. Don't know how that works. If you rip enough blue lightning, anything's possible. Just not advisable. Yeah, my mom said not to do that. She. 
Oh, wait. She probably saw from my mom, yeah. Just think, okay? I think she... Wait, give me a second. I'm actually have to think back how the memory alteration would have gone, but yeah. Because if I remember correctly, their memories were altered. Because they were the altered, but they still know that they still know how the fight itself went. So she'd still know it as okay. as Kresha being re rescued from being brain souped, casting a spell in the middle of a dangerous fight. And she took five grand worth of fucking blue light thing. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm familiar with the story. That's not, These that's days, she I... takes that much, you know, on a probably a yearly basis. Yeah, that's like. Like, my mom warned me, I guess, because she saw, like, your mom, like, explode like a watermelon and then get reconstituted. And it was, like, the horrifying. Yeah. Yeah. I and mean, mom came out of it all okay, luckily, because San Andreas is great. It just slightly chuckles and almost smirks like that this is, feels like a situation yeah your mom's only good because my mom saved her etc and be like stupid things like that uh -huh. no it's like i said it was just some stupid thoughts how is a dialogue can, you know, devolve into, depending on how the person's personality is, if they're combative or not, about showing up. Usually I have dialogues with my brother and it's just so much easier in general. Where is your brother, anyway? Not here. Well, yeah, I can see that, but, you know, in general. Well, he took after Mom, so he just goes where he wants to. So he could be in Death hey. Dale if he's just a wanderer. Well, like I said, I, we split up and in general we know when the other one is nearby it's... if he isn't there i'll probably know it if he's not then he's somewhere else he was uh you know like like he and i were like he's the same coin but different size he's like he's smart and he's charismatic it's the bar, like. I'm more like constitute, more insightful. Not as socially good as he is, and not as smart. But yeah, you're getting there. Universe, Look at what you did with Cassidy yeah. the other day. You got yeah, it's best friend. New best friends. Admittedly, she's yeah. kind of a bimbo, so that's not hard, but. Still Bimbo counts. wrangling is still definitely a talent. Yeah, but like I said, he's what I'm good at, he's not. What he what I'm weak at, he's good at. Mm, makes sense. Huh. So, sounds like I gotta pick him up sometime. Really round out the group. Huh. Oh, you well, didn't mean pick him up like that. Okay. What? Roz, I don't know. He you? said, you know, by by actual standard, I would say he's really good looking. Well, I mean, yeah, he's a you know apparently a real Chad Bard. That sounds like pick me up in that context material too. I'll uh, take your word for it. <laughs> uh, come on, we should get back to the tavern. It's gonna start raining real bad pretty soon. Yeah, we need to get in from the wet so that I can get. What? A chance to relax. I know. What are you getting up to? Just some time to relax. You, know, you kids play safe. 
Everybody else loves that. I know. Oh, must be fun. This is a trade out. Oh, that's us. Awesome. Yeah, no. I ain't. <laughs> no, that's fine. Yeah, Roz says. Nope. Yeah, you're good. Just as you still assume I'm up to just the regular mischief, it's just really fun to pull on your respective tails. Look, it's fine. Ross is just having a little bit, just getting over like her panic of faith earlier in the day still. Ah, yeah, of course, that must be it. Yeah. And so, yeah, you guys can start heading back to the Vine Hall. Uh, probably Ask is getting there about the same time as the rest of you. Yep. A fine Tediana has just arrived uh, all by herself this time. She. Hey, Teddy. Oh, hi. How's it going? Well, her mom's okay. She is in a mysterious land beyond imagination, but she is okay now. Yana will As in, her head. still on, like, this world, or...? Good question. Um, we aren't sure that she is on the same plane at all at the moment. But she responded to ascending, but she can't be scried. Well, at least she's alive. Yep. Well, There's a big load up. So it's probably going to take them. Did a she long time describe to... where she is at all? Uh, oh gosh, what, what was it? Um, a land of heavy forests and bitter cold near a coastline, full of pale Anubians that speak a different language, and they have scruff puffly tails, but. Just one. Like mine, but one. Hmm. Which sounds like a crowd of adorable people in a beautiful Ervainan-esque Nordic landscape to me. So I'm obviously a big biased fan there. Yeah, it sounds like they're either really far north or really far south. That reminds me of a tale I heard from... Uh, well, it was retold, but I think it originated from... Lord Leofric about some wolf lady knights from another world. Apparently okay. very beautiful. Huh. Were covered in magical stuff and worshipped strange gods. A dead god, too. But beyond that, he was kind of vague, probably for practical reasons. The gods aren't very keen on Playing our travel. Ah. Which is not great news for Miss Renacia. Yeah, we'll keep things on the down low and she'll figure it out soon enough, I'm sure. It's not like she did it on purpose. If anything, the god would be, should be helping her get back. And mm. if she's been here, then that's... Oh, sorry, if the wolf people have been here, then that's kept. Maybe. I hope so. But, um, I'm basically sure of it. All that will be well. One of you help me get inside. I, it's starting to rain, and the rocking oh. of the barge was a little much for me. Oh, yeah. Let's get inside. Yeah, thank you. Before we all get rained on. I'll open the door and tap both the sides of it as I walk through, just so she can hear where the door's, like, boundaries are. Yeah, she gets in, no problem. There I am. And luckily, it looks like there is not a like gigantic drinking party yet. The group is there, so they might happen that again. Oh, give it a little it bit. Just... I'm sure it'll happen again. Yeah, I just peek inside before I go in. Alright. Make sure. Okay, no. He's <laughs> not just going to immediately devolve into a fist fight again. I mean, isn't that... Wait, just, isn't just, that... Wait, just hold on. Isn't a low roll like... At a certain point. Isn't Alora, like, going to dissolve, devolve into a fist fight? Hyrule would be, like, knowledge not to do it. Yeah, I mean, and he rolled an 11, enough. so... That's pretty <laughs> Oh, is that high enough? Okay. Yeah, it's it's high enough. It was basically looking for a 1 to see if we just started punching Cass again for no reason. Uh, okay, alright, alright. 
But yeah, that's fine. Uh, as you guys wander in, Sam will wave at Ina. All right. I am going to catch you guys later. Going to have a lovely chat with our ranger friend because, frankly, she's kind of lonely without many people to talk to. Oh, that's sweet. I hope you two have fun. Yeah, will do. Uh, and then I will give her a quick wave and uh, just sort of sign, what are you drinking? She will point to a tall bottle of wine that is already sitting on the table with a couple of glasses. Ah, excellent. Then I shall go over there and join her. Yeah. Uh, hey, Sam. She will sign I confess, a I'm not much of an alcohol drinker. I've always found it makes me a little bit of a moody foxo. But I will have like half a glass and then order some juice. That's fine. <laughs> I'm uh, a little nervous. Oh, that's okay. I will smile. Oh, there's nothing to be nervous about. I like to think, at least. She will beam a big old warm, sunshiny smile. Uh, throw a persuade. Let's see if you can ease her up. Okie pokey. Uh, 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 u
uh, and I've never seen them do so, but legend foretells that some of them can make ice cream while it's still in them, but I think that's just a joke to surprise kids. Sam turns into a tomato, just imagining it. <laughs> Soft serve. She I will, in fact, make the joke, too, at the same time. Nice. Uh, yeah, I, I could safely say I've not seen that happen myself. Uh, don't think that's true. What about yourself? You can tell me about how where you grew up. I'm from Ibarra City, mostly. But I spent a lot of my childhood with my father and his caravans moving around. There wasn't really much for me to do in the city. I, as you can imagine, don't really like it there. Mm, I suppose not. It's all very... Well, kind of dangerous for me. And weirdly, I feel safer out in the wilds. I'm all alone. Hmm. I mean, I guess I get that. I certainly felt safe while traveling, and then every time I stopped in a place, is waiting for the other shoe to fall. Hmm. The wilds around here used to be so safe and beautiful. Mostly these days, I collect rare herbs and take small game, bring them back to town, but now things seem to be getting dangerous again, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe hmm. find my dad's caravans again. How hard would that be today? That depends on where he is. Um, She will think for a minute. Well, this time of year, they should be in Igniferous. But they really could be anywhere, what with the monster attacks. And they could have even gone through the undertunnels. Hmm. Interesting. Well, what are the undertunnels like? Oh, have you not been there yet? They're amazing. No. It's, well... Imagine a hallway that's miles and miles and miles long, lit only by ever-burning torches. It's very okay. dark and a little dank down there, but the cowfolk have done an amazing job turning it into, well, it feels like a fortress. And there's even an inn down there halfway between uh, Igniferous and Nevrock. <laughs> it sounds incredible. It has a hot spring in it, of all things. That's always my what? favorite place to go on the trip. Oh, I love hot springs. I guess you've probably not done it our style. Uh, you spend a long time in a hot spring, and then after drinking lots of alcohol or hot cocoa, you then jump out into the snow. Yeah, no snow around there. You can't even get to the surface again once you go down to get all the way to one end or the other. Wow. There are little safe points every so often with vents uh, just in case something collapses, but you really are just completely sealed in down there. It must have been so difficult. I love the sound of it. That is so cool. They say that the Lady of Igniferous made it herself, but I'm pretty sure the dwarves of Nevrak must have helped. The architecture down there at least seems very dwarven. Well, that'll be. It must have taken Just years have and check. years. It only opened about five years ago. At least huh. to the public. Neat. I'm sure that uh, Nora probably knows how long it's actually been around, but I suppose it's not exactly the most polite thing to go asking for family secrets and stuff. That's right, she's um, Lady Hashat's daughter, right? Mm, yeah, that's like, uh, she's one of the many, 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 many. Yeah, I'm familiar enough with the family. <laughs> At least my, I am through my dad. They certainly grow them big over there. Yep. 
See, I always thought that they were huge in their vein and lots of uh, probably quite similar stature to Roswin there uh, in Salamanders and then big old minor boys and minor girls and very few elves. Even the cat folk seem to be, I guess, taller and brickier. Yeah, that makes sense for being so cold up there. Not like us little things here where it's hot. Oh, um, adorable things, though. She blushes. <laughs> well, Big beaming smile. They certainly grow them pretty up north, too. Ah, oh, shucks. They mostly just grow in pesky. She will giggle and sip her wine. So, are you and um, any of your friends, you know, together, or are you flying free? Well, together in, as in, like, the context of romantically, or...? She nods. Sorry, I don't mean to uh... cry, it's just I've heard adventurers are kind of... She hmm. flusters her fingers uh... for a moment, trying to think, and just tucks her chin in. Yeah, I get what you mean. Um, I'm not with anyone, uh, I believe. Uh, well, okay, no telling. I'm pretty sure that B has an incredibly big crush on Tatiana, uh, and Tatiana may be back, uh, but they are both far too shy. Uh, Ros has no idea what she's doing, and Asuka is dying of blushies over her. I have no idea about Nora or Zena's interests. Neither of them have gone porking, such as it is. Sam will nod. I see. That's a relief. My dad always says that adventurers were always uh, getting into all the girls at every tavern. And then also they into do... each other. Hmm. I Gee. mean, I won't deny that that happens between a lot of adventuring groups, and heck, maybe it will happen amongst ours, but, uh... Ooh. To be fair, we haven't been together that long, now that I think about it, but... Your dad, is, your dad has, has good instincts, let's put it that way. She will gesture at the party behind them. Those guys, for instance, uh seem to fit your uh, dad's examples of friends who slay together, lay together. She nods. I'm pretty sure that giant tiefling is laying all of them. Oh, for sure. So I just wanted to check. I'm sorry if that was rude. Oh no, that's perfectly fine. If you're wondering, I... I haven't played the field in, like, a decade, so. Shrugs. I've dated a couple of times in the interim, but nothing really ever serious. Oh, that's... that's good. Reassuring. Oh, you need reassuring, do you? Maybe I do. Well, I can promise that this fox is romantically unentangled and 100% illness-free. She will sip her wine and then quickly sign. Could use reassurance in other ways. Well, would you like to find out? She will nod. All right. And consume I wine very quickly. We'll probably stop her before she gets herself actually drunk. There, there, I get nervous, but you probably don't want to get yourself sick. Right, yes, of course. Um, I have a room upstairs, if you'd like. That sounds good to me. Smile and offer an arm, follow afterwards. Yeah. Guys can head upstairs where you will find that the reason that Sam went out into the fields before you guys came back was to get a bunch of beautiful wildflowers to decorate her room. Oh, it's so pretty. It is. 
she will take a few and just weave them through your hair and then lean in and give you a smooch. Oh, shucks. And then a sign to please be gentle with her. Of course, only the most gentle. And yeah, can enjoy yourself a kitty. I, I shall. I shall be the sweetest, most gentle pup. Like, you know, used to being just like railed off of her gourd. <laughs> she will behave. <laughs> good, good. Yeah. What's um, Sam's whole arrangement? She is uh, full femme? femme all the way down. She has cool. like little perky sea cups, and cute little tuft. Uh, you will <laughs> find out uh, that you are probably her first time. Oh no! I'll be so gentle. Yeah. Uh, you'll be you'll be so gentle, and then you activate the feature of your second level barbarian class. <laughs> oh no! Right. <laughs> No, activate no, not. I activate my racial feature, wild form. I would like to wild shape. I would like to a woo shape. Well, I mean, you know, given your history with a winter we wolf. Lost to God <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe don't recreate that, that experience for her. Yes, no, that would be a bit much. Plus, she likely doesn't have a jar of peanut butter, but don't oh, God. Uh, you really are just rich white girl, aren't you? Woo! <laughs> 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 <Right. laughs> oh god! So while that's happening, <laughs> uh, Zana is heading to the bar to pick up food. Drag her out, helping it down. Uh, Roz and Aska have sat down, ordered some drinks, and you notice for the first time that uh, the dwarf fellow is actually awake for once. He seems oh, he's awake. bleary-eyed and is uh, sort of hunched over a large stein, but he has aroused himself from his stupor from the last time you saw him. I'm honestly a bit surprised he's awake. The bar girl attending to you will nod. Nah, he woke up about an hour ago. Finally. I was getting tired of cleaning up his drool. Mm. Let me guess, he's gone straight back into drinking, hasn't he? Well, he is a dwarf. I can't expect that, you know. She will look over and just shake her head. And yeah, he's back in his drinks. But we've watered them down this time. No more uh, going unconscious. Uh, I think you'll probably still find a way. He's a dwarf after all. <laughs> Life finds a way. Well, here's a tip for them. If he starts drooling again, just put a strain down to a bucket and I just follow that by the bucket. That way you don't have to clean it out. <laughs> nah, da. Nah. Still, I will not say I will be sad to see Lord Navarak here go. As good as he pays, uh, he is uh, starting to stink a little. Yeah, he hasn't left us spot in, what, a couple days? Uh, three days now. Well, he's gone to the bathroom, at least, so that's nice. You know, outside. Yeah. Now, you should have somebody with prestidigitation just give them a quick. Prestidigitation can only do so much. I'm. Just, when did I become a fucking wizard? <laughs> we don't have anyone who can no, cast like, spells here. Like I said, we need to find someone with prestidigitation uh, and give them a few spreads. Maybe when Lord Rajan comes back. Not. Uh, Mm -hmm. Do we know if if uh, Talinora knows? 
I what have I know? no idea. I know she knows that grease spell. No, I can I can have a sask her when I get back there. No. The soups are ready. Yes. Oh, duh, of course. Yeah, she will hand you a couple bowls of soup. Yes, yeah, soup. And yeah, I'll be back with the. Uh, I will be back for the bread and drinks. Of course, and take your time, and they are nice and warm. And as for you two, Rithy will turn her attention to the druid and other Claire. Mm, something special I can do for you besides just drinks? We have uh, fresh bread just coming out of the oven. Uh, sure. I'll take a slice or two of the fresh bread. pop over to the oven like 10 feet away. The smell is absolutely heavenly coming off of it. Yeah, I mean, it's fresh bread. Obviously, you're going to get fresh bread when it's getting right out of the oven. Hell yes. Give you each a nice big buttery slice and go over to uh, Lord Nevrak here and just hold it under his under his nose until he slowly cranes his head up and snatches it out of her hand. Take a he just, guard he just leans back. his head back and mouth opens and chomps him down and just goes back down onto his head being down. Yeah, pretty much. He mumbles something about goblins, shudders to himself, returns to drink. Uh, that one worries me. More and more. And Xana, mm. you can indeed deliver some bowls to Tetiana. We'll give you a smiley thanks. Uh, yeah, I'll just place her hand where the bowl is and uh, where the spoon is. So, so uh, I'll go we'll get the drinks and uh, we'll get the fresh bread. So. Thank you for taking such good care of me. I appreciate it. It's, don't worry, it's what friends are for. Mm. You're a good girl, so. I just wish I could do something to return the favor. Well, you can continue to be, you know, a good person. Be you in general. Okay. And she blushes. Yeah. I'm not asking for anything in return. I just... I know. I want know. you to be happy. She will lean in and give you one little ear rub. And begin to consume soup. Yeah, it's time to do to fetch some bread and drink. Oh, well, let me help you. Let me help Zana. Yeah, sure. Uh, do you happen to know? Uh, right, do you happen to know pressure digitation? No. Sorry. Oh. Oh. Oh, you said yeah. that like two feet away from Cassa, so she'll lean back. Hey, Bestie, do you need press digitation? Uh, uh, well, I was going to ask uh, if somebody knew, but uh, yeah, that's the bartender or resident bar. Well, oh, you mean Lord Stinky? Bar resident. Lord Nevrak, but yes. Yes, Lord Stinky. Uh, it needs some it needs a little bit of a cleanup. Um I don't think Press Digitation can fix that, but I'll try. A good thing it's a presentation has about the very good range, so Yeah, I'm I'm gonna cast it from back here. Um Lord Nevrak, I'm going to cast a spell on you. Is that okay? You hear a snort and an angry bristling from the dwarf. I don't think it's okay. Uh, 
And That's I nice. feel like angry snort and bristling is dwarf for a yes. <laughs> I mean, it's dwarf for yes or no, really. It's a vague dwarven acknowledgement. Uh, yes, Banchant. Uh, yes, Whisper down there. Lunarak, it's uh, digitation for cleaning you up a little bit. It's been uh, three days now, and uh, you have uh, started to have a rather flavorful scent to you. Ah, ah. Uh, damn my scent, woman. Damn it all to hell, what does it matter? So is that a yes, or...? Ugh. Keep your spells off me, woman. Okay, so definitely no. Got it. So, now that you've roused yourself into a less drunk and said, what's this whole drinking about? You've been constantly mumbling gardens. <sighs> he shudders visibly. His beard quakes from side to side. That's the damn goblins. Damn them all to hell once they came. For all damned race is bad enough, but now this... Soulless monsters! Pounds a fist on the bar, hard enough to make the owners take a very guarded step back. Okay. So what made them such soulless monsters? What you're listening, woman? They had no souls! No souls at all! They stood there! Dead and lifeless, staring at us all with those vacuous eyes. At this point, everybody in the bar can hear him, except I know probably, and Sam obviously. The other adventurers will turn, look on with concern, and Teddy will almost spill her soup. The wharf continues. That's not what made the monsters that they were, that they are. I'll have to make all my crew just run in terror. Leave it all behind, all our, our wealth and goods. I'm ruined. Ruined. He picks up his drink and just chugs the entire thing all at once. So, a bunch of soulless animated goblins terrified you? Terrified my men. Sent them running home to their mamas. Not me. Not me, but I lost everything. I couldn't carry it down myself. And those things just, just walked at us. Walked menacingly. So some goblins walked at you and you ran away? He fumes at her. Here I am. It's a guardy. Hello, Welcome guardy. back. Okay, so... They did nothing, but they're... General demeanor changed. They changed from the usual so called goblin behavior and become just animated corpses or bodies. Yes, they were dead. No doubt about that. One had its eyes <laughs> hanging out, and another had its guts spilled everywhere. Like it was 
all been mauled by bears. But they were still moving. They didn't fight. No, that would have been easy. I could fight undead. These things. These things just stared and shambled. Interesting. We met, we met the different uninteractive undeads too. Rosal pipe up. Yeah, and we heard that uh, that Renacia lady, she met some spirits that were just passive too. Yeah. And Tally, even hold followed on. A, even Rosal followed like a few for a, a little the while. They were all just shambling in one direction with no care to anything else. Did you hear what this man's saying? Uh, sort of. It's kind of hard not to. Yeah. Okay, what do you make of it, wizard okay. lady? Come on. Uh... This is three times now in less than a month. Really, barely more than two weeks. And in such a huge distance, too. I mean, from how far away we were and how far we are now, it's hot miles upon miles. Tell you, this doesn't make any more sense to you on any logical level than it did before. Um, well, uh, I guess the most, lo the most obvious thing is that there is someone going around fucking, messing around with the, with, I'm dead. I mean, obviously, necromancer. yeah, something's, or someone's gotta be controlling them, but to what end? Or, oh, maybe well, it doesn't sound like they're controlling them. It sounds like they're just raising them and then just letting them wander off. Who would well, do that? Maybe they're... And why? What would be the point? Maybe they're not actually, you know, like the regular, you know, necromancy undead, but just reanimating without spontaneous undead. Yeah, like reanimation without, you know, any glimpse of soul to be like, you know, the ravenous undead. But what would be the point of it? Don't ask me. I mean... Like, I'm just throwing out the hypothesis, theories, call it whatever you want, but need somebody better knowledgeable in this. But that's about the best guess. Because if you remember, they said, like, uh, what was it? Other character, the fucking little uh, altar boy. The Mr. Altar boy, what's his name again? Uh, Brother Zane? Yeah, Brother Zane. Remember, he said it was like an earthquake, uh, like an earthquake, and the temple came out. The Wolverine temple was raised, and then the was like the undead started popping up like uh, later on. So the other adventurers have kind of come over at this point, and Raylan will put a hand on your shoulder and say, "So you guys have seen them too, huh? Those wandering bodies." Uh, yeah, we encountered some uh, skellies and zombies and such at a, near a place down at Kadar in a ruin that got uncovered by that great big earthquake some years ago. They weren't always there, but they did just to, seem to come up. Yeah, they didn't we, wander we around. Met, they didn't wander away. We met some like that too. Uh, in a valley between here and Ignaferis, there was... I think it was an old elven graveyard. Someone had dug up some corpses, just skeletons, really. Well, they were up and animate, but didn't attack us. 
Erda wouldn't put him down. Saber turned the rest, but... Eh, didn't make any sense to us, like some necromancer had wandered through and then fucked off. Perhaps yeah, but that's... our more experience is even more concerning with them. No, that's what I'm thinking, is like... From all the stories and what we know of necromancers, they have them for a purpose. Who would spend all that magical power just to make one without one that has nothing? An incomplete ritual, something leaking, or... I don't know if it's incomplete. If you fuck up a ritual, why wouldn't you put the damn things back down? Or maybe... Try it again. Just... Because there's something or, to be gained from them coming or something like that. Or maybe they're trying to come up with a new way. Like, so it's like Who research? has innovate? Think about it. Like, who has innovated on necromancy? Like, because necromancy is pretty much just drowned and reviled. So, For good reason. what would the best way to make it not reviled? Well, how can you reanimate without it being, you know, desecration? Or make it, you know, like, mindless murder everything? The pink-clad cleric will come up and clear his throat. I don't think these were any different than other undead on any mechanical level. Uh, well, undead created through magic are usually mindless. It's just that these had been left with no orders. Uh, normally, if you find undead in a dungeon, they were created by a curse or left as guardians. And if you find someone in necromancer's control, they're enthralled. But not these ones. It's like they were created and then abandoned. Like stray kittens, almost. Well, stray kittens. No, that's actually... No, that's a bad analogy. I'm not sure it is. So we are currently experiencing some form of spontaneous reanimation. Mm. It may be spontaneous, or it may be a necromancer at work, but one that's not malign? But then what's the purpose of just reanimating them? What well, do they the get question. out of it? What's... Oh, investigating minds needs information. Right, but we don't know who this necromancer is. If there is one. If there is one, that's true. Although if there's not one, we have much bigger problems. Luckily, most people burn their bodies these days, but... This territory used to be human and elven. There's a lot of old tombs and stuff around. A lot of uh, and... material for them to work with. Yeah, and if you go back in history, there's probably even more buried deeper, deeper, and all that stuff. Uh huh. Oh shit! And Raylan will tug on his beard for a moment. You know what? We're not that far from an old giant's graveyard. That place. Uh, well, oh, it's kind of in the name, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, if there's a necromancer going around raising bodies, maybe someone ought to go there and warn them. The druids around there, uh, <laughs> well, they keep the tombs sealed, but they probably don't keep that close an eye on them. Yeah, it's an uh, increased watch, then. That's... Or you have somebody who's good at putting things like that down. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, Ginger Bun, you have any way to contact your kin over there? Some tree talk or animal messenger or something?
Aska. Yeah, she's AFK. Ah, shit. I'm jealous AFK. Sorry, what now? I had a call. Oh, uh, Raylan was asking if you knew any way to contact the druids of the nearby circle. Uh, let's see here. Today? No. Uh... Ooh. In a day or so, in another day, when I could prepare different spells, I probably could. Yeah, maybe you want to do that before whoever this necromancer is gets their hands on a bunch of Jotun corpses. I can do, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, hopefully the druids can sort that out themselves. Uh, we ought to find this necromancer, if there is one, but... Uh, like Sava said, if this is some kind of natural phenomenon, we got real problems. Well, yeah, the best way to be... The simplest way would be to just consecrate the area. That way there can be no racing. Yeah, uh, I don't think druids do that, though. No, but there's literally a temple of Mithras a couple of miles away. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully they have some paladins that can kind of go out. I guess this seems to be a quite a, quite a thing to do. Out of character. Good thing no one dead can be raised in storm mode because everything got consecrated the whole new raid. Yeah, I said that our character, so don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. No, but yeah, so we do that. So, so never, but then. <laughs> do, do you happen to know where this incident took place? Because if they're just the way that we think they are, there's nothing's. Everything you have is still there. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. And he will just roll out his, now at this point, sweat and beer stained map. He will thump a finger heavily right about here. Somewhere. In here. Oh, that's a big spot right there. Is there like a trail to follow? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. There's an old goat path. We were cutting through it to get to Dale. And an old abandoned dwarf outpost up that way, too. It was a little... A little southwest of there, about a day's travel. Okay. If you find, if you retrieve my belongings, bring them back to Nevrak. I'll, I'll see you richly rewarded. Well, we'll see what they can do. We're probably going to be heading that general direction sometime later, so. Braz will glance at you. Oh, yeah, I thought we were going back to, you know, Kadar. We... I thought we were too. So, yeah, some I uh, did say sometimes later. Mm. Because I'm um, just pointing out the map that once we got there, we got here, we still have to get there. If we're here, we're a small like pass away that, from it. That bandit camp has like 100 people in it. I don't think that's a good idea of doing anything I like that. I don't think that's a fantastic idea at this point in time. Raylan will chuckle then, and say. Uh, well, if you're oh, not going that way, I guess happened. we can go claim the bounty. <laughs> We're between oh, jobs at the I? moment. Confident on the hundred oh, yeah. camp. Confident we can get past them without getting detected. Erdo will shift yeah, uncomfortably that's... and harumph, but Sable will pat him on the shoulder. Yes, I've got a scroll of pass without trace. Yeah, I can't deny yeah. that uh, we would have a 
difficult time of that measure. I would say though that uh, apparently there's a shortcut through with the golf path, so you got that going for more or less uh, well traveled spots for make at least uh, make it harder to detect you at least find you. Don't worry about us. We'll manage. And uh, <laughs> if bandits want to come rock up on us, well, we welcome the challenge, right? Slap Erdo on the back. The barbarian will just grin. Cass yeah. will fist pump into the air. Yeah! Finally, a fight worthy of us. All right, hey. well, don't die. I, many of our party members would be quite sad at your passing. Yeah, you better not. Please, I'm too beautiful to die. You? Yeah, yes, I imagine the saying. bandits would have a uh, field day with uh, you if they captured you. I bet. Wait. It's, you can see the sort of dial-up working. He'll frown. Nice! Raylan face bombs. Well, I guess I just in this case, it's rather safe to sorry because, yeah, can't claim your riches if you're no dead, and there's no glory to be sung about if they're just oh yeah, well, he was a great guy, just died off in the fucking rush, probably eaten by a bear. No, come on, that wouldn't happen to us. We are way too good for that. Have a yeah, little that's faith. Sad, I oh, I have a lot of faith. Trust me, I'm literally a cleric. Sabo will just grin and say, And if faith fails, I can always just cast Fireball. Uh, well, if you can cast Fireball, it will... <laughs> Out of character. Oh shit, if we can cast fucking fireball, then yeah, then we'll have a lot fucking easier time than we have. Yeah, uh, it's, the rest of these guys, level two, Saba, uh, might be a little, little higher level. So they're like level yeah, they... three or something, level four or something. You're, you're getting that. Uh, Saba has to be at least five. Saba has to be five. To cast fireball. Yeah, at least. You will you'll remember Say was also wearing like full plate armor as well. So clearly, clearly a little bit more experience than these fellows. Too fancy. He he is their arena. <laughs> yeah. But as I said, it's I I fought with some of we fought them and they Physically, some are not the toughest, but they can actually pack a serious punch. Come on, we've handled bandits before. It's nothing to worry about. And hey, there's that bounty out for him, too. Between Sabe yeah, and Erdo, we can manage. So stop worrying, Zan. We got it. Yeah. Well, you know, it's... They run to my fucking side of family, you know, worrying and taking care of people. Yeah, yeah. Well, don't worry. I got yeah. a little bit more Marcus in me. He will wrap his hands on the basket of javelins on his back and then dump a pouch of silver on the bar. That ought to settle our tab. All right. Well, everything's packed up already, so let's get going, shall we? We got dwarf treasure to rescue. You got, you're gonna get going in this stormy ass weather. Absolutely. What do we look like? A bunch of cowards? The Tanuki will sniff at the air and say, Valen, please, it's pissing rain. Can, can we not? Sabah will 
also mimic <laughs> the point, and then Castle will do a tiny meow moo. What are you too baby to go out and rain? Come on, come on. The sooner we leave, the sooner we get to cleave skulls. Erdo, please, we're going to get sick and die. <laughs> if we die to little sickness, then surely we will die to bandits. What do we have to be worried about? Well, the difference has been between having, you know, fighting with a weapon in your hand, the other one is shitting yourself. Do I look like a hobgoblin to you, little goat? Fucking zing. <laughs> you could fight at 100% or you could be fighting at 50 because of sickness. Even at 50, I'm a match for 10 bandits. And Saber is a match for 20. As long as I have Fireball anyway. Yes, I suppose that's true. Uh, still, you make a good point, Zena. Uh, Erda, why don't we go upstairs for a little while? I'll make staying worth your while. Though you're trying to bribe me now, Saber. Yes. Well, it's working. Good. <laughs> Sir, help me if we can hear them through the whitener. If I can hear them through the walls. <laughs> yeah, Samir is happily just immune to that. The question hey, is, if they hear you. <laughs> are you ready to get Tarnavact? That's a good question. Samira, it doesn't have volume control on her enjoyment. Oh god, that's right. Hold on. <laughs> she can't hear herself, so... <laughs> Alright. Uh, what was it? Wisdom, I guess? Yeah, wisdom saving throw. She's dead-ass oh, quiet. Shit. In fact, like, <laughs> alarmingly so on your behalf. Like, you're not sure she's enjoying herself until uh, you get some tactile feedback. Ah, okay. It's fine. Everyone's different. Ina herself is not she, a noisy girl. She pushed the mute button. <laughs> as long as I don't find factory reset by accident, we're okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Do you want to move roll a slight of hand check and see? That's the thing. She's deaf. I'd rather mute, not. Right? <laughs> oh. She is. No, she's deaf, not mute, but because she's deaf, she doesn't. Speak yes, I because know no volume. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like no, when she purrs, she purrs like ultra fucking loud. Yeah, my brother-in-law quite loud sometimes, even though he probably, even though he doesn't realize it. Good girl, Anna. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I was literally the same while my, well, my ear was uh, getting fixed up. Really tempted to roll animal handling, but no. Do it. I like, mean, she is an animal based thing. <laughs> Ina has a not ipso facto animal handling. No, I refuse to <laughs> no, lie. That's, that a that's a bad precedent. That's a bad precedent. <laughs> Holy <say>. shit. <laughs> Woo. Oh, oh, wow. She okay. is a cunning linguist. Okay. Well, you two have a spectacular time. Oh, yeah. It's uh, perhaps. It's not so I'm not sure you were meant to use persuasion as opposed to performance, but I'll take it. I mean, it's a crit regardless. Yeah. You know what they say? It's not the mute, it's not the quiet one, that it's the loud one. No, it's fucking goddamn Aina. It's the loud one this time. Uh, no, Aina's very well behaved. All right. Uh, so yeah, those two will go upstairs to join in uh, their own fun. Raylan will sigh and uh, add a couple more silvers to the pouch and then go get more drinks and sit down. Huff. Well, yeah. I know huh? it's kind of out of our way, but we do need to get mon some money, so maybe we should go uh, go find Mr. Neverack's stuff up in the mountains. The, I mean, yeah, so the, we're, going to, way. we're going to make probably a bunch of money in the tomb we're going after. Oh, where's that again? That's right outside Deathic Dale, I'm it's on... pretty sure. Yep, oh, that's yeah. where we'll be going. Yeah, if we look at the map here, you can, you can see it's just uh, northwest of Deathic Lake, if you follow like the lake. See? Just west. Oh, that one. Yeah, the little teal flag. 
It's uh, it is a ruins to plunder, and also after it is done, I, I get a, a fancy ring that Anna's been carrying. Well, maybe we should go up into the mountains after that, then. They are literally just going straight there as soon as the rain goes. We're gonna no. be on a boat, and we have the cobalt den. And we've got to yeah, we've got to go all the way back to deal with other things. We've got yeah. co kobolds to fight here off of Rose Tower, and then uh, the rest of Cobalt Quest over here. Cobalt's defined. Oh, okay. Oh, no, sorry, yeah, yeah, where uh, Valier is. We kind of, like, completely miss the bandits. We go in a se <laughs> in a semicircle around them. I mean, the thing is, like, we could go through the bandits if it wasn't just mountains. I mean, you can go over the mountains, it just sucks and it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's the point. Mountains. They are traversable mountains. I know they are. <laughs> it's just way quicker to go this way, not in the mountains. Out of character, I was going to say this. If we do the cobalt thing there, we're not far off from uh, Ignostala. Oh, sorry, Ignostaris, sorry. Yes. We're just a few hexes away. We could get a... Because I know that Somebody can ask their mom to send us straight to Avara. That's cheating, but yes. That's also, cheating. You, you could totally <laughs> we, ask. we should we should just stay to the roads until we have teleport means of our own. We just can't ask everything. Have we asked anyone for everything? I, I know yet? I know will oh. pout anytime someone's like, we can teleport. No, I don't wanna. I want a journey. I am the journey fox. Where? Where? Seeing things is fun. Yeah, but you haven't been eaten by a giant horse crop worm of Earth. I don't want to be eaten by one. Yeah, I don't of those. think anybody wants that to happen. <laughs> uh, we, most of us don't fucking know that shit. The only one that's probably seen it is Tally, and she's just so fucking accustomed to it. It's, like, it's uh. nothing. You want to scar us from using teleport forever? I mean, okay. No, I'm not the one that. That's uh, that's uh, uh, Tally Spawn that does it. You're the one suggesting we take it, though. Look, Teddy no, Anna would think it's awesome because she doesn't have to, you know, witness the horror <laughs> of the fucking Dune Worm. <laughs> Well, you don't want to get swallowed by the ground? What's wrong with you? Exactly. It's just a, you're just being embraced by the safety of the Earth through its maw. But yes. Is there anything else anyone wants to do here in the tavern? Or would you like to fast forward to time to leave? I'm good to time to leave. I'm also good. Yeah. Ayn doesn't really have a choice. She's sort of knotted in place. <laughs> so yes, when it is a time to go, uh, Raylan's party will head on out. Uh, Zeva's, Zeva's getting princess carried, but seems perfectly content with that arrangement. Oh, I'm just going to make sure they'll get a hug. No. Good luck, guys. Yeah, we don't need luck, but uh, if you have some to spare, I suppose it won't hurt. You take care of Zan for us, all right? And tell you what, I would like to do their fortunes. Uh-oh. <laughs> also, since you guys are hanging around, uh, let's see. B and... Aska can both have inspiration. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who wants inspiration? B and Xana can have inspiration. Oh, Xana, you you pointed to me. Yeah, I know, but I mean, if you already had it, you wouldn't give it to you. That kind of... I don't know that I drew any uh, relevant fortunes, unfortunately. Uh, you know, I, I'm interested to see what happens to these guys, because I feel, I feel like with NPCs, you actually do just decide what happens to them. 
All right. That's the warrior to start with. Oh boy. Yeah, the warrior's like fighting anyone, isn't it? Swords. That one's got to be Erdos. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Casa. Meep. Another core ah. of swords. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. They're going after a bandit camp. Raylan. They're not going after a fucking bandit camp. Secondly. The crown. They're going out to get. Ooh, they're going out to get yes. the shit from. Uh, uh, Uzi? The dwarf. I thought they were going the after the bandit camp. No, they're not going after bandit camp at this time. Investigation. Okay. Check. I didn't say oh. that. The healer. Let's see. They're going to have to do some investigating with the mists. With the torturers or the swords. So that's just, you know, fight mans. Unsurprising. Since they have to take out a bandit camp yeah. after all. Heal, 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 heal. <laughs> uh, let's see. The pentacles is, uh, let's see. Uh, spells, yeah, that makes sense if they're going to go looking into a necromancer, potentially. Mm -hmm. The warrior of swords. Ooh, they're going to have to face off a higher level monster with the warrior. They're going to have to face a champion of some kind. Yeah, ooh. And the three of glyphs. Let's see. A we'll make sure god. Saber picks up some extra potions of healing. Hmm. A high priest or a divine aspect. Interesting. Ooh, they might attract some favor. Yeah, so that is that can be woe just as easily as it is wheel, though. Not so true. Especially out in those parts. Might find some old, old gods. And there's that higher level champion they have to fight. The higher level champion of an old god, perhaps. Yeah. Some sort of dark high priest. Well, that makes sense. What with the undead and all. Interesting. They they find these concerning but exciting, especially Erdo. When he pulls the warrior, he is fucking hype as hell. Very fair. And yeah, they will pass out hugs as is relevant uh, and for the road nice uh, who's that on on Ruji he seems to be their thief <laughs> yes he, he is indeed all right excellent you can indeed exchange panties. Nice. <laughs> I don't. Um, oh, it's just for your collection. It's not like you're going to wear it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Off they go. And you guys can enjoy your quiet few hours before the rain finally lets up. The, or rather, the winds let up. It's going to keep raining for a while, but that's not too big of a deal. The boat doesn't mind. Once the storms, the worst of it's over, Arena and Kieran will also come back. Arena's got a bunch of wildflowers in her hair, too. It's very pretty. And she and Sam will both be joining you on your boat trip. Does Kieran have a bunch of wildflowers in his hair, though? No. Oh, uh, he should. No, that's for girls. A romp. Your mom is just grinning ear to ear. Don't you dare. Don't I dare what? That's exactly right. She will sidle in close. We do match, though. Ah! Uh... <laughs> Never too late for a quick bomb own. Never, ever, <laughs> ever. All right. So let's just see if anything untoward happens on the journey. 
No lake monsters. Let's go. Come on. Do, do, boop. And boop. Luckily, they don't need to make navigate checks because uh, they just see the shore. Because it's a lake <laughs> and they do this all the time. It, it is actually a quite wide lake. If they go in the middle, it they can't wide, yeah. see the shores necessarily, but they will be you know, sticking close by. However, on the way out, because the storms have churned up the lake a bit, uh, you are greeted by a adorable sight, as there are several animals congregating around your boat as it gets out of the lake, or rather out of the river. There is a pack of little quadrupedal finned creatures that come up and sort of cling on to the oars. Little lake otters. Oh, adorable. I like love you all. 30 or 40 of them just skipping along with the boat as it slowly plods Aww. along the lakeside. Aren't they nice? We will describe them to Yana. She squeals. She has, in fact, what the lake held otters an otter eat? before. So fuzzy. What was that, Scout? What do lake otters like to eat? Uh,. I don't know what normal otters like to eat. To be clams. Fair. They love to crack Fish open clams, clams on their belly. Well, unfortunately, he probably doesn't have any clams. Um, You know what? I will just post myself up high on the barge and fish, and I'll just give them all the fish I catch. You won't see them. Otters, yep, river do. otters, fish, mostly eat frogs. aquatic organisms, including fish, frogs, crayfish, turtles, insects, and some small mammals. Crayfish. Adorable. Sam will snuggle up with you while you go fishing and will smile at little creatures, but they don't seem interested in becoming new animal best friends. Unfortunate. Yeah, she does not, in fact, have animal friendship. Alas. Alas. God, do I have any animal spells? Those same two rangery for my skill set of getting in fights as I cross the realm. No, I do not. Well, all right. But you can make uh, temporary food friends with the little river otters. They Yay. will do tiny little otter barks at you and wave at you. Yay! But they cannot they follow you forever. Ah, oh, there you go. Like it's a picture of an otter cracking open a clam on Etambi. <laughs> that was a, those are yeah. specifically sea otters. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, lake river otters probably don't get much clamming. They could eat the crawfish, the crawdads. Yeah. Crawf, the otters crawf, eat frogs, yeah. crayfish, and mud, fish delicious and mud bugs. Mud bugs. <laughs> We can do some crawfish here. Mm. And then there's the giant authors. Just like a giant like pot of crawfish. Wouldn't that be great to have here? Uh, how yeah. long does the, the trip go, by the way? Uh, it is about a day. Okay. Just going to make a couple you know, checks quick. A couple spaghetti checks? Yep. No, yeah, don't forget to take off your rations. Uh, you don't have to because you're on the. Oh God. Okay, so about. <laughs> no, oh, luck... no. Luckily, it... well, we'll we'll count that as two failures. So about uh, <laughs> break even. Five or six hours into the trip, uh, B will attempt to find uh, Iman. In a in a play like if, on a on a on a break or something. Yeah, you can you can track him down. It's a small boat. Uh, let me let me grab his stats and see if he also <laughs> just spills his spaghetti everywhere. We're aiming okay. for no spaghetti this time. Hopefully, <laughs> make the oh no. Like okay, crossed. his his spaghetti is <gasps> is well cooked and. In okay, its Tupperware. He, does, he doesn't immediately run when he sees. <laughs> no, he does not just spaghetti everywhere. <laughs> hey, um, hey, man. Oh, uh, hey, B, how's it, how's it going? It's good. 
I, I just wanted to apologize for earlier in the uh the square at the Rose Tower. Uh I I kinda like uh Iana, but you're super cute and I think you deserve somebody who can give you their full attention. Yeah, I I I gathered. Uh Thanks for saying that, though. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's a shame you're the first Nubus I've seen in almost a year, but I'm sure another one as pretty as you will come along someday. Oh, and thank you. I'm sure. I'm sure they will. If I came by, there's got to be more. Yeah, that's, that's the whole island of us. They just don't come this way often. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, I hope you and uh, your centaur friend have a, a, have a great time. He Thank you. cringes at himself a little, but you can't see it. Roswin, however, gives him a thumbs up behind. <laughs> Poor dude. I wish you the best of luck. And she gives him a big hug. Oh, uh, you do. You're a sweet boy, and one day you will find a large Anubian woman to die in between. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he was hoping for, man. <laughs> oh, no, now I'm thinking of that. I just want a woman to kill me. Is the Spike Spiegel spiel here? I just, yeah, I just, yeah, that, I, I just love the I want type it to of get woman weird. who can I want annihilate this to me. I want this to change us both forever. <laughs> I want to shit myself. I want this to be embarrassing. <laughs> like, weirdly embarrassing. I want you to call me your piss baby. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> That's right, you little pee pee poo poo piss baby. <laughs> Wait, pr God, princess I little please piddles. i want to die God, call me princess little piddles <laughs> oh whatever God, it is so... <laughs> well, I, well that was the meme right i don't remember yeah yeah, yeah it's the spike spiegel looking for a woman to kill him <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Giant daughter is between five and six feet long. Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's, that's a large that's, lad. That's why I call a giant. Yeah, that's why I call a giant I, otter. I suppose yeah, if that's a so. giant otter, think about how big a dire otter must be here. <laughs> well, Never now I know I need to stat otter. that out. South American car. Yeah, also it's a South American animal. Yeah. It's also known as the river wolf in South America because it's on the top of the predators of its aquatic ecosystem. <clears throat> it eats crocodiles. Damn. What the fuck? That otter's what? got hands. Yeah, it's eating crocodiles and caimans. What the? Like baby crocodiles? I, I could see that, but... So, so it does specify small canyon. I mean... Yeah, caimans I mean, are still... not small. I mean, it's still taking out, like, crocodiles and caimans. That's a, you know... Yeah, as a human, I don't want to fight a fucking small caiman. The fuck? Alright, otters don't fuck around. Noted. Like a it small has no serious What the fuck? Other than humans. That that boy yeah. do be doing a chomp on that gator. Yeah, and uh, that's a full grown, so I, I see that. Five six feet long. <laughs> okay. So that's a full grown goddamn crocodile. Alright. Damn, that otter's got hands. Jeez. Otter got hands. Alright. Yeah, I'm statting that thing the fuck out. Yeah, it's like Giant otters don't fuck around. They're like they're the apex predator for a reason. Dire otter would be crazy in here now that I mean we know that sort of thing. 
Like, yeah, there, there'll be a, Ooh. at least large size because a giant crocodile in the D&D is large size. Yeah, large sized otter. Also, Ina hauls in the biggest fucking fish you've ever seen. <laughs> it's like, you're playing fucking Sekiro and the Duff carp fish. dad shows up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that, uh, what was it, the Final Fantasy fishing game that turned out to be actually incredible. <laughs> it's just like your monster fisher, and it was maybe the best simulator that they'd ever seen for fishing. And it was, in, and it was <laughs> nested in as a mini game in... The Final Fantasy where everyone drives a car. Oh, uh, 16, I think. Uh, 15? Yep, 15. Uh, 15, yeah. Okay. The road trip adventure. At least the first half of it is a road trip adventure and also fun. The other half, however, is not. All right. I know. That was it. Or, sorry, uh, Monster of the Deep. Yeah. Roz and Yana are the same at cooking, so they will help each other. Yeah. Yay! No! Oh, no. Quick oh, no. guys. This fish was apparently tough to cook. <gasps> okay, they salvage it to decency. Yes. Okay. You guys should look into saving D5 on Discord. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Adorable. It's Although so cute. B yeah. has a muzzle, I think. Yeah, I, I pointed it out. the The nose in the original art is still a little confusing, so I point. I mentioned that, but other than that, yay! Oh, Yana's so cute. That is adorable. Very nice. All right, it's a day brightener right there. <laughs> fact, it's also uh, entirely safe for work, so I'll just actually show it on stream. Yeah. Replace the horrible gator getting chomped <laughs> by these nerds. That's a big fish. That is a big fish. Ah, cute as hell. All right. Oh, that's not a big fish. That's just a regular. It's just a regular. It also looks like a child. rather. I know. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, that's common. That's a common size. Uh... Uh, uh, not a bike. Uh, in Swedish, it's called Jedda. There you go. There's an actual record lake fish. Hey, oh, that's uh, a big ass. That's a chunk of salmon. A that's what you pull out. Boy. The hench. Mr. Thickums. Oh, so I was watching I'm the show it, like on that. the game Thickum. thing, but this like clearly some guy's face. I don't really want to post it. <laughs> nope, too late. <laughs> in the street. <laughs> All right. All right. So yeah, that you can... fatty belly on that. Um, um, um. Buy a healthy fish. So yeah, you can pull out big fish. Uh, between it being rainy as shit and this thing maybe not have fat eaten uh, as well as may it maybe could have. Uh, it's not an incredible meal, but it is a voluminous meal and certainly feeds the entire crew full of kitty. It's it's not as bad as the fish stick incident, though. <laughs> mm. I don't. I don't think I know that one. Maybe Ross does. Maybe Ross is just not. It just isn't good with fish. Yeah, no. It's the two times in her entire life she's cooked fish. It's just not been the best. We just need to get some like uh, shellfish and stuff. Yeah, he's gonna go uh, get some crawdad next time. See if she can do those better. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, the day comes and goes, and you are able to arrive at Deathic Dale. Oh, wait, B will also ask uh, Iana what her favorite kind of food is. Hmm, my favorite food? Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah. I guess... She will actually spend like a good 30 seconds just hemming and hawing over it before finally alighting on. I think clam. My mother used to make the best clam chowder in the whole wide world. It always makes me think of home. That's so cool. I have to try to find a place that serves clam. 
wonder if they have any in the dale. No Just one. looks around with the fields and fields and fields like, no? Probably not, but if we can get some when we get back to Kadar. I know they have some there. Oh, yeah. Maybe I can find some fresh ones and try and make Mom's chowder for you guys. <gasps> yeah. Yana will do a waggy tail as you guys pull into the river itself. And uh, where Rose Tower was fields of roses and f farm crops, this is just one tremendous vineyard sprawling out over miles. There is a large village in the center dominated by a great stone church. But beyond that is just miles and miles of grapevine. And plenty of kitties and bunnies are out smushing them down to make some wine. You can pull in to find that there is a, a fairly sizable crowd of folk waiting for the barge to pull in. It will help you begin unloading all of your stuff, but the bards themselves are much too busy. These are mere menials. The bards you'll find are up in town in the church attending one of the Lady Shaw's lectures. But you will be greeted at the edge of town by a great big red-headed minotaur. He'll size a lot of you up, then notice uh, Zanna and Talanor amongst you all, and just smile. Welcome, friends. Please come in. Be welcome in Deathic Dale. Oh, thank you. Mm, thank you very much. I am Gregor, Howdy, Sheriff. If there is anything you are needing, please let me know. Ooh, directions to the closest tavern. Ah, that would be my sister's place. It is just on the road here. Do I know Excellent. this Minotaur? Wonderful. Um, probably not. <laughs> okay. He recognizes you because you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And right. Zayna's also Me? got the very obvious Shaw features. Uh, she well, opened it up right now, actually. Called. Yeah. Too bad. No, it's fine. If you want, you can uh, make a disguise check. Try or uh, stealth. See if you can actually go incognito. Because, uh, yeah, this is this is Shaw territory here. It's going to be very hard to go unnoticed, unfortunately. Yeah. And also I'm probably the like place so where you're most like... likely to get fan clubbed. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Oh so as I was saying, he immediately recognizes Zayna and just ruffles your hair. Not good to be seeing the Lady Frida's child here too. <laughs> it has been too long yeah. since she has visited us. It just makes the hand motion like, no, 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 don't, don't. And when it says it. <laughs> it is That's too it. late. Several bards nearby will gasp and squeal and start running in your general direction. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, gosh, no. Oh, no, the fan like, clubs oh, arrived. Uh -oh. Well, it seems like Zena's you're going to be busy for a while, Xana. Uh, I'm going to go off to the market uh. and uh, go take care of this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, people ask, oh, oh, where's the, the marketplace for selling goods? Nah, it is just in the middle of town. <laughs> there are plenty of stalls open at this time. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, ladies. It's a bunch of young bards start running by towards Xana. <laughs> I just sighs deeply, takes a deep breath, and just goes back to her to just put on that fucking smile. I'll pat her shoulder sympathetically. Good luck. Yeah. And yeah, once good. word starts spreading, uh, Students start pouring out of their class to come see you. <laughs> oh dear! Oh dear! Oh, oh my! Oh dear! Oh boy! Grigor is going to quietly withdraw. So many. He just noticed, like, I should not have said that. He does the haggard. I should not have said that. Yeah, so like, yeah, so Santa's gonna just put on the smile and just 
be as social as you can with all these and answer the questions and do the whole thing. Yep, you are. You're going to be bogged down for a while. Uh, the rest of the party, however, is able to escape and get around and kind of head on in. <laughs> Fly, you fools! <laughs> Fly, you fools, while you still have time. <laughs> you are just okay. being dragged down. <laughs> and just fucking Terminator 2 thumbs as they sink into the crowd. <laughs> uh, I guess let's take Tatiana uh, uh, in a wide uh, way around this, I guess. Yeah, I'll just... Oh, um... Okay, I don't mind staying with Xana if you want. Are you sure? Well, there's a big crowd. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not great with crowds, but I want to be here for Xana. Okay. You all go ahead. I'll make sure she's nice and safe. All right. Have fun with the many, many buds, Tati. She smiles. Yeah. Titty's just getting us away oh. so that she can she can get <laughs> in behind yeah, she, can, she can join the pile secretly. Yes, yes. my well, chance. Yes. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> I recognize this statue. Yes, indeed. In the middle of town, there is a statue of a beautiful bunny bard. Sadly passed away a while ago. But Tally, huh. before you can get to that statue, oh. you and Kieran are both mobbed by oh. a blonde kitty who will just run up and glomp you. Tally! I miss you, I miss uh -huh. you, I miss you, I missed you. Uh, another sibling of yours? Uh, yeah, that's... Cass's twin. And then Kieran will also oh, Cass, disappear. Right, Cass. <laughs> into uh, the looking for a big hug. Hall. Wow, what are you doing here? I didn't think you were a bard. I'm not. I'm a wizard still. Mm, are you sure? Because this is bard town, and like everyone here is a bard, so that means you're up to. We were just bringing Tatiana, Miss Tatiana, up here, and Ross. She's so pretty and huge. She's I love the horse she's centaur. riding on. It's so it's got such a nice horse blanket. Gosh, no, she's a centaur. <gasps> I've never seen a centaur before. Maybe we're all bards on the inside. That's what Miss Shaw no, says. A little bit. No, I most certainly am not. Oh, you could be. You're so pretty. Yeah, haven't you ever wanted to, like, sing or something? Mm, no, not really. Making making things isn't that much different from making music. I'm sure I could make a music box if I tried hard. Miss Shaw uh, says anyone can make music and great stories if they try. Especially Ooh, uh, us. I'm certainly... Well, I don't know about music, but I am writing stories. I am I am collecting stories, and then I'm going to make my own ones. You're finally writing that book! Oh, that's exciting! Yeah! I'm so happy for you. Aw, thanks. Oh, is it going to be a cool romance? Or an adventure uh, story? Well, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm writing down everything that, like, we're getting up to and i've started writing that out i've got a first i've got the notes written down but i have to sit down and do the first like draft of the first couple chapters uh there is this other thing i'm thinking about doing but i'm not quite sure yet i want to make a maybe maybe make an adventure book about some kind of like monster hunter because I've been, I've been seeing a lot of them rec around recently, and I've been trying desperately to get stories out of them, but they're really difficult to talk to sometimes. Oh yeah, I know old people are super cagey sometimes, or they like start talking and never, ever, 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 ever stop talking. It's one of the two, and <laughs> anything else. 
Sometimes they vacillate too. Like Elder Waldstein, I take care of him sometimes, and he either like three days without speaking, or he just starts talking and won't shut up for like three hours. And it's impossible to tell which. Well, in this case, I'd like them to start talking more, but they just they, I have to really get into their good graces to get them to talk about the like, the, the monster hunting they've done. And there's this, especially this one orc. There's this one orc lady who's one of the hunters, and she insists that she won't tell me anything until I bring her a bra- a, tro- a a worthy trophy. You have got to. Like, have to go into a competition. Risk. Oh, we have a yeah. we have a dragon chess tournament here sometimes. Oh, not that Ooh, kind of trophy. Bar it has to be a monster hunt, a monster trophy. I have to kill something really big and mean, and then oh, bring you have to it. Kill something that's terrible. She tucks her ears in and pouts at you. Mm. Uh huh. Maybe a wyvern or something. Those are causing problems recently. I've never seen a wyvern, but I bet they're cuddly, so you shouldn't hurt them. Uh, they're not cuddly, actually. They're actually pretty mean, it seems. And they got a really big, stingy tail that will just stab you. But they're like you. dragons, and dragons are pretty. So... But these ones are really stupid, though. Well, that's what... That's what all the other students say about me, but you shouldn't kill me. Oh. You wouldn't kill me, would you, Tally? Oh, of course not. I'm going to give her head pats. She purrs and leans You're not deep mean. in. You're really nice. You're not a mean. You're not a meanie like a wyvern is. Wyverns are really dumb and really mean, and they eat people. Oh. Hating people is no good. Hmm. Some of the other students say I do that to people too, but I think that's really weird. I've never eaten anybody. <laughs> but they keep talking about me sucking them down, and, like, I can't even put a person in a straw. That doesn't make sense. Here, just face palm. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. I'm, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna... Just gonna go. She grabs him and pulls him back into another hug. No, you just got here. You can't go. We gotta go get drinks and party and stuff. Yeah, sure. She throws her arms up and does a woo. I'll grab Kieran and Tally and start dragging them towards the bar. Is she really strong? Uh, yeah, she she do be rocking a 16 strength, though. Oh, she's so much. <laughs> she's so much stronger than me. And Karen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You you do not have a choice. This is not optional. All right. Uh, it seems as we lose more party members, I'm just gonna continue my way to the market. Me too. I'll come with. Uh, I have be no idea where fishies. to go first, but I guess the tavern for a lunch and a cup of tea. Yeah. So, the trading rules, huh, Savin? Yeah, you guys yeah. can indeed do some trading. Let's grab the rest of you and drag you to the middle town. Okay. Mm. So it's a perception or dis- uh, no, a persuade or deception check. Mm-hmm. I will use my inspiration on it. Okie dokie. A 19. That's pretty good. So, remind me which goods you had? I have salt. Salt. All right, well. I have coastal fishies. Coastal fishies. All right. Uh, Both of those are going to be a neutral market. So. Nice. Yeah, I had a feeling uh, it would be. If you would like to roll as well. Oh, yeah, I got to Persuade. Do you have hands for that? I technically do, but I was not going to use it. It's just money. Just money. You don't need it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. 
Money's a social construct. See, it's fine. Yeah, it's a pass. Don't worry about it. All right. So it's a DC 10. So Aska, your base profit margin is 18. And for B, it will be 12. Nice. And then Yay. we get to see how much you increase that by based on how far you traveled. Do, 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 do. And in a straight line from Kadar to Deathic Dale is 13. So add nice. 13 to your profit factor. All right, 25. so 31%. Not bad. Mm -hmm. yes. All right, here. So let's do a little bit of math. 50 times 1.31. I made 65 silver. Nice. You pretty much paid for your whole trip. Good job. Yeah. Nope, nope. How do you do time? It's the, the uh, asterisk. It's asterisk. asterisk. Asterisk, yeah. Nice. 14 silver and 5 copper. And I will delete that off my sheet. Yeah, as you head into the middle of town, uh, you can see that there is a small stone shrine to Kanara and Kalira here in the town. There are a few very nice homesteads as well, and looks like there are apartments attached to the tavern itself. And those of you who are keen of eye can see that to the south of you, uh, probably on the outskirts of town, so just really kind of barely attached at all, there is a square-ish structure that has a dome on top of uh, pretty heavily lacquered wood, and sticking out from the top is a large brass tube. It's not pointed in the direction that oh. you can see it, but those of you who have traveled by sea at all, which is to say mostly Aska, would probably say that that's a big old telescope. Interesting. All right, uh, I'll be right back. I gotta let my dogs out again. Oh, okay. I wonder what they're looking at. Well, you could always just go ask. I think I'm gonna go pay my respects to the local goddesses. I love B. She's just like, oh yeah, I could do that. Goes and does. You're right. All right I back. could. <laughs> B will go up and knock on the door. If there is a door, I guess. There is indeed I a door. I assume there's a door. Yes, that is a door. You give it a good old knock. And there is a slight clack from inside. And the door will swing open, and out puffs a pretty tremendous odor of coffee, oh. and possibly some pipe smoke. And you are greeted by a salamander lady. She's quite skinny and wrapped up in tight robes, and looks very bleary-eyed, like she's barely really slept in days. She will Hi. blink at you a couple times. Yes, what is it? We saw your you... big telescope, and I was wondering what you're looking at. She will look past you at the other two. Which one of you has my food? Um, oh. neither of us. Shit, I'm going to die of starvation out here. Uh, Would you like us to go get some food? Did you, you? Did you actually have somebody coming with food? I am supposed to, I think. I don't know. I forget to eat sometimes, and 
and she will look out like past B and there's like a little stoop and sitting next to it is a plate of food that's clearly been there for like six hours. Uh, I think you missed your delivery time by a bit. Shit. Oh well, whatever. Eating is for rubes anyway. Come in or go away, one of the two. Give me just glance at Aska. Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh, probably. Why not? Might as well go in. The Mander will slump down back into her chair and chug some coffee. No, yes. Uh, who are you exactly? I'm Beatrice. You can call me B. We just came in on the the barge. Ah, yes, River Vagrants, of course. Uh, here. She will take out a silver piece and just put it in your hand. There you go. God's bless. I, I'll... I'm not... <laughs> Tries not to snicker. <laughs> uh, no, not so much Vagrants now. Yeah, we're, we're adventurers. Adventurers? Yeah. Oh, well, that is everything. She will, like, go to take the silver piece back, then stop and say, hey, are you in market for work for adventurers? Uh, Depends maybe. on what you have in mind. Yeah. Okay. You see this thing here? This telescope. This is yeah, biggest huh? anywhere in this whole hemisphere. It's very important. <gasps> uh, but there's a little bit of bad news. Uh, it's kind of getting cracked. <gasps> oh, no. I know, All it right. is a tragedy. I am forced to work in these conditions. Cannot even have reliable instruments. How am I supposed to do anything? I don't know. But look, hey, there is good news. There is good news. I know where glass fixing can here? be I could had. take a look at it. Wait, you don't happen to be glass blower by trade, eh? No, but I tinker. Hey, I will happily Although pay for tinker tools, too. If the if the glass is the problem, then I don't know how much I can do. But you were saying, sorry. Ah, the, uh, there is a uh, how do you say a uh, glass available near here, and I know where. I just need someone to go get it because if I go out, I will die, and all my work will go unused, and I'll complete it. And I cannot have that. Ask any issue. Does she look like she's probably gonna fall over soon anyway? Probably. <laughs> I'd say you're in more risk of dying from not eating than you are anything yeah. else currently. Well, eating should be more convenient. I cannot eat and do math at the same time. Becky laughs at her from the spirit realm. Yeah, <laughs> from the we... fucking grave? <laughs> and you can't do math... Does... Does well, Aska I have hungry bending. stomach either? Yes, I can, and I can fucking prove that. Look at this. And she will spin her chair around to point at these several blackboards full of equations. Look at this. I haven't eaten in two days now, I think. But look at all I have done. I'm so close. I can taste it. Would a, would a Tinker Tools give me any, a proficiency give me any, like, Ability to understand what's going on there. Is this uh, why you were asking yes. what skill applies to hardcore mathematics? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> look at all these maths. All right. It's all wrong, but look at all these maths. So, was it intelligence, Wait, can I, athletics? Can I roll into athletics on it? Uh, yes, intelligence, athletics, or intelligence, nature. Either the two. Okay, here we go. Uh, all right. I, nature is probably better for me. I think. Now they're saying. Oh, okay. Twenty-one. All right, a twenty-one. Well, Aska knows her math. Okay, she is she part does. of the shipbuilding business. She doesn't know it quite well enough to grasp entirely what the fuck is going on on these boards. Because, good God. <laughs> Because <laughs> personal chicken scratch. Yeah, I mean, half of it's illegible anyway, but that's besides the point. Uh, however, you are able to realize that uh, this is something to do with the motion of planetary bodies. 
Uh, that makes sense, given her telescope. Yes, but more than that, it's not just looking at the stars, you don't think. She's trying to compute a planet. <laughs> Mind you, she's not measuring a Whoa. planet that you know she can look at through the telescope. It looks like she's trying to compute a theoretical planet. I understand a bit of all this. You do? Holy shit, that's better than any of the fucking idiots around here. <laughs> yes, I recognize uh, that symbol. As far as I can Yes, that's the addition tell, symbol, Brainlet. You're trying to... That, that one? ...prove the existence of a planet. Ah, yes, yes, that is exactly it. I have been studying the stars for many centuries now. Probably longer than any of you have been alive. And... And as she Probably. says that, Arena just shifty eyes. Well, maybe. Um, but I have been looking at the last planets in our stellar body, right? And there are irregularities in its motions that suggest that there must be something pulling on it. It doesn't have any moons, and there's nothing that anyone can see beyond there. I just need better glass to... Look further, but this telescope is shit. And it's breaking, on top of oh. being shit. But the oh, equations man. are sound. There is something out there. Something really fucking big. Yeah, yes, they have all the bars go, your mom! <laughs> Mm, I see. All right. Well, oh, yeah. yeah if it's not in. out of the way, we could get the glass to help you look at this this thing. I have no idea what is out of the way for you, but yes, there is good news for glass. Is that yes. about a week ago I detected a falling star and it impacted not all that far from here. <gasps> and a falling star. Uh, it was a blazing ball of fire. It landed on the beach. And the beach <gasps> is sand, so it should have theoretically turned it all into glass. I yeah. just need someone to go get it, and then I can refine it. She will waggle a Simple flaming enough, yeah. tail. Yes. But uh, the problem is the... Uh, the waters are all full of monsters these days. And terrible shits coming in from out in the forest, being driven away by wyverns or something. Yeah, yeah we've yes, heard we've, uh... that's that's one of the things that's on our. Uh, uh, I don't think we really have a list, but that's on our radar. To no, that's the wrong word. Yeah, uh, that is with them. on our list of things to deal to look into. Hmm. Something about cobalt as well. Yeah, do you know which, which which direction up or down the beach from here? Uh, up, is up, it... up, 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 up. It is, uh, is it north north northwest north? of here. Uh, oh, wonderful! Then that is actually that's on exactly our way. Exactly in the direction we're going. Well, good. Then you can get the glass and then bring it back. Yeah. And we can claim whatever is left of that meteorite. That's, yeah. Sure, whatever. That's also, probably yeah. just a bunch of rock, but. It could be, but it could be metal or something else. Hey, in there. rock is cool. Yes. Point is, I just need the glass as much as you can bring back, and the clearest you can find too. Yeah, dude. I Rina's gonna put up a hand. Are you sure clear. that's wise? I don't think that's how you're going to get telescope glass. Well, there's no fucking glass blowers in this town, so what else can I do? I can use a bit of alchemy to treat it, and that that should be fine. I'm an alchemist by trade, right? It used to be for about a hundred years. It should be fine. Yeah, I can do alchemy too. It's easy to make glass when you already have glass. Well, see, there you go. Um, if well, you're sure. Although I, I, I am. Well, I'm going to be honest. Them. I'm not sure it could uh, make gla glass that. Good. 
Hmm. So point at the at the tel big telescope. Well, what I have is broken, so anything's better. I can't do anything if I'm seeing 50 copies of the same thing. Well, if you believe the material will work and are willing to pay for us to get it, I see no reason to refuse. I think some people in our group know how to mend things. We could see if they can also mend the this glass in the meantime. I believe me, I'm surrounded by bards. I've tried. It's ah. something keeps breaking it. I don't understand. They they fix it and it works for a day, but I wake up the next and it's broken again. I don't do understand think, what happens. It's something wrong with this think, glass. Do you think perhaps whatever you're looking at is breaking the glass? What? That's stupid. It's the planets. They can't break glass. Do you Maybe mind if, if I, I take at a the look sun? at it? The planet itself, perhaps not, but who's to say it's a planet? What the fuck else would it be? An organism of some kind. What? That's preposterous. It, nothing can live that's in sounds, space. Is it so kind of scary, too. We have the living gods among us, we have things in the deepest parts of the oceans, and we have planets beyond where we can go. Yeah, but what kind of space whale would be big enough to throw off a planet? And also so sensitive that looking at it breaks your glass. It would have to be like a god or something. Perhaps that's what you found. Well, they can come down do here you... and fucking just tell me to stop on their own. Do you mind if I take a look at the... Uh, the... Yeah, please, go, the go other... ahead. Uh, here. And she will grab the front of the telescope and just slowly lower it down. It is a laborious process that takes a couple minutes, during which time... Uh, I think Arena's going to start poking around. Be able to take a look at the the other end, like okay. I see if there's any uh like thingamajigger, like yeah, anything that would be throw investigation or tinkers tools at it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. While she's looking over that, I'll pull out a ration. Eat this. You look like you're about to fall over. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Thank you, I'm sure. Uh, I get caught up in my work, and then suddenly it's the next day, and there's three meals piled up outside. Mm -hmm. You'd All think the, the bars should... could actually knock once in a while. Hot diggity dick down. I think they probably do, and you're just um, too involved in your work to notice. What? No, I have great ears. I, I would know if someone was at my door. Probably. Uh, B, this telescope is a remarkable contraption. It's the biggest you've ever seen oh. by far, and it's clearly masterked. There is pure gold all over it and beautiful scroll work. Not that that helps its function any, but it's very nice. And the glass That's at the amazing. front is indeed chipped, just barely enough to throw off all of the uh, internal image. Uh, huh. And something that you probably wouldn't notice on the outside if you were looking, except you have pretty keen senses for contraptions. Hmm. It's basically hairline fractures. But you can't see any reason for them other than someone coming by and, you know, chiseling at it. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything in the telescope itself would have caused this. The only thing would be either... Either ask is right, and there's some magical being, magical mumbo jumbo at work, or uh, perhaps someone knocking on it. Hmm. No, it can't be someone sabotaging me. Why would anyone do that? I don't know. <laughs> I about as. I'd have, um, I have about as much idea of that as I would have why there's a uh, mysterious celestial body out in further into space, I guess. Hmm. No offense, I don't think either of these are right. I think there's just something wrong with this glass and it keeps breaking. 
Hmm. And something internal, like whoever forged it fucked up. I just I just need new glass, then I can replace this with a little alchemy and a little of my own tallow flames. And I can get back to yeah. work. It's definitely worth trying. For science, it has to be. Mm-hmm. All right, far be it for me to say otherwise. Uh, but if it does key a crack again, even with the new piece, do keep in mind the other theory. <laughs> so again, I'm going to have to hire guards, I guess, but... Uh, I don't know. It's... Lee Shaw yeah, says I, I should... Quit while the quitting's good, if I'm being, uh... Well, you know, but... It doesn't make any sense. Why why stop science? If there is another planet out there, we deserve to know what, what is around us. Don't you think? Perhaps, but perhaps some things so. are better left alone. As long as it's not like a, like a murder planet. If it is a murder plan, we definitely need to know what's there. Okay, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Do we? Or is our ignorance of it uh, protecting us from its wrath? <sighs> ah, weird. We'll see. Preferably through <laughs> new glass. I will make sure you are compensated for your efforts. Do not worry. Thank you. All right. She would sit back, harumph at herself, and then start munching on this ration. She devours it in like three bites. There you go. Yeah, well, sigh and say, You girls go on ahead. I'll fix something up for her proper. Okay. Right. I was going to say, make sure you don't eat, but. Or make sure you do eat, but. Mm -hmm. Fufrina's here that should help. She gives you a wink. <laughs> yeah, you can. Right, well, I'm going to go off and try and find this uh, Lady Shaw here. If anyone knows anything about the forge, it'd probably be her. Yeah. I'm going to go join uh, everyone in the tavern. Make sure uh, Tally and Karen didn't get... Uh, whisked away too bad. Mm hmm. Yeah, you guys can uh, split up. I uh, let's. Hop over to Ina, I suppose, for a bit. I was going to say, Ina is so much the opposite of a quiet prayer. Yeah, you are just <laughs> blurting that shit out. Luckily, Roz is used to your shit, and Sam can't hear, so she's just quietly praying to herself as well. <laughs> yep. And otherwise, you have the chapel to yourselves. Uh, you know what? I will pull out a cloth and make sure that the statues are sparkly clean. No, they it's do like seem well kept. Full up actually. on the altar. Yeah, I know, but she's gonna like climb full up on the altar just to make sure to get around them ears as well. <laughs> Roz like tries to stop you, but gives up after a moment. She throws her hands up. There's <sighs> no stopping that fox. Do what you will. I'll see you at the tavern. Okie doke. I shouldn't be long. Look, the gods always appreciate it. It's like a head rub, but for the soul. Sam will cautiously go over to the other statue and give it a head pat. Heck yeah. And eventually... Clap them down. Yeah, you clamber down, Sam will look askance for a moment and then sign to you. So, would you like to get a room together here for the night? 
if it's to be the last for a bit. Hmm. All right. I would like that a lot. She will smile, do a little heel bounce, then sprint off. Next. In fact, arriving before Roz, who's just kind of trudging along. And then, yeah, to the tavern party. Luckily, everyone has pretty much cleared out at this point, other than uh, a cowgirl behind the bar who is just kind of staring out the door, perplexed as the last of her patrons exeunt. And a human girl who is extraordinarily pregnant, sitting at a table with a book in her lap. Well, <laughs> we're resting on her tummy at this point. She will close it slowly and look at a lot of you as you pile in one by one. Is something going on outside? Uh... Oh, uh, I guess you could say that there's a celebrity in town. Kind of. And everyone's ganging up on her. Oh, yeah. that's a shame. Yeah, sadly we, we weren't able to sneak her into town. Sneak her into... Oh, is it Zayna? Yes. Uh-huh. She nods, <laughs> set her book aside, and very slowly push herself up to her feet, put a hand on her tummy. Ooh. Do you think it's... Well, I suppose everyone's going to be ganging up on her for a while, aren't they? Poor baby. She doesn't like crowds. Yeah. I know. We'd managed to mostly avoid it up until now. I don't know what she's doing here, if that's what she wanted. Um, are you friends of hers? Yeah. Uh-huh. We, we're adventuring together. So she's taken up her old man's career, huh? That's good. I'm Selena Shaw, obviously. So extend a hand along to the lot of you. Shake, shake. Oh, shake your hand. Sam will do her little deaf introduction and give her a little hug. Well, um, what brings you all to town? I know Zena usually avoids the place. Well, we were uh, we're also traveling with a, a bard ourselves, uh, who is hoping to come here. And also, we're looking to investigate a, uh, out of character, I forget, was the, the, that manor sunken? Uh, status unknown. It's just pretty abandoned. much destroyed. Okay. All right. We're looking to investigate a destroyed manor to the, uh, northwest of here. Oh, you mean the old Elven estate? I'm familiar with it. Yeah. Not much of an adventurer myself, but when I was young, I'd go out that way to collect stones. <laughs> Although, I suppose plenty of people over the years have had the same idea. I think the church outside is mostly made from that estate. I used to ship it back here by the barge. You should be careful, though. A monster's moved in there recently. Dracul. Oh. Oh. That's good to know. Yes, it's made its lair there. I think it must have gotten pushed this way. I've heard there are wyverns all over the valley now. Yeah. That's also something that we plan to look into. The wyverns, and a little further to the west, there's there are kobolds uh, causing trouble for people and travelers. And those two things seem to be linked. Well, 
Well, I wish you luck in that, then. Whatever's been going on, it's hurting trade badly. And, oh, you know, I think I'll sit back down. It's all the same. <sighs> I'm about how, to pop how, any how day now. How close are you? Of... Oh! I actually, That's on. a couple days past due, but he seemed to want a little more time to grow. <laughs> so, if you're going up to that old estate, hmm, do you know anything about it? Not really. Uh, wait, what, uh, out of character, what were we told to look for there? Uh, you were look, told to try and find a way into, uh, the basement of it, because ah, yeah. the, uh, Rolo suspects that there is one, but there's been no evidence of it turned up. Has ever found a way in. We haven't heard much, but we're, we're going to investigate to attempt to find entry or find if there is a, a basement area. Uh, you've been talking to Rolo, haven't you? Yeah. He's the one who sent us. Yes, he's been very interested in that place for a while. Ah, well. There are some statues up there that should show you where it should be. If there's a basement, but I'm not really sure there is one. People have dug around there for years and never turned anything up. There's also an old seawall protecting it. You'll have to land a ways away. Huh. They're too, sh they're too sheer to really scale, and no one ever wanted to bring them down because they were afraid it would let avalanches into the river. Yeah. In this case, perhaps we can find a way around. Hmm. We were planning to investigate a, uh, a falling star that may have landed on the beach. Perhaps we can go up from there. Well, you've been talking to Tally already, huh? Uh huh. She's, um, eccentric, but she's got a good heart, I think. Yeah, um, she seemed kind of nice, if a little, uh, for forgetful. That's one way to put it. I really do worry about her with this obsession of hers. I uh, honestly almost wish she wouldn't. She's going to have to give up if that glass of hers keeps breaking, and then maybe she'll take better care of herself. Can I make an insight? Yeah, sure. All right. Uh... All right. She seems sincere, and you can tell just from the evidence you've gathered already. There's really no way Selena could physically be doing this, even if yeah. she wanted to. <laughs> she is extremely pregnant. Yeah. Uh, that said, you don't think she would be opposed to someone going and bonking her glass uh -huh. because uh, she she really does seem worried about the Mander. Yeah. And she truly believes this uh, project she's working on is physically and mentally hurting her friend. Yeah. I know how it is to be uh -huh. maybe not that obsessed, but to be that uh, interested in seeing something through to the end. Well, hopefully you have friends to take care of you when that strikes, because uh, Dahlia locks herself away in her house and won't even answer the door half the time. Yeah, I had lots of, lots of siblings to pull me away. I can see how it would probably be less or more of an issue without anyone like that. 
Yeah, yeah. And, and she's been around long enough that I don't think she has any family left. Not a lot she of friends said, either if she keeps pushing years. everyone away like this. I'm sorry, I'm getting awfully dumb about it. I admire her dedication, of course. I, I just wish she'd come out of it. Yeah, I'm I'm glad to see there's still people who care enough. She said she'd been here for at least a hundred years. No, not here, here, but she's been... Uh, around. Yeah. I think she used to work in Nebrock for a while. They had a, an observatory up on the mountaintops, but those terrible earthquakes 20 years ago toppled the whole thing. Oh. Huh. So, about this time, Ina's probably able to catch up <laughs> and ask oh, yeah, totally. able to go see the Lady Shaw while well, Zayna's getting uh, swarmed by young bards. A woman in her probably mid-forties is leaning against the doorframe of the old church, arms crossed, shaking her head. Oh, poor Zena. Not going to help her out? Nope, not at all. Mm. I'm sure she can handle herself for a little bit. She needs to learn how to. This is going to keep happening to her. She's going to own up to her legacy at some point. Ah. Mm. You came in with her, didn't you? I did, yeah. We've been traveling together for a while. Uh, taking care of her, I hope. For the most part, yeah. Good. I'm Marcia Shaw. I'm the closest thing to a mayor around here. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Aska. Hmm. Aska. Looks at you for a moment and then smiles. You seem awfully familiar, Aska. Have you been around here before? Not to death Dell, no. Sorry, I don't mean to presume that all the bunny folk look alike or anything. It's that red hair is... She waves a hand. Forget about it, I'm sorry. No, 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 please, go on. And, um, I'm actually looking for someone that should look pretty much exactly like I do. Oh, uh case, uh, she will tap her chin a moment. Yes, a girl who looked rather similar to you came through, oh, five or six years ago? That's it, yes. A very similar figure, but that striking red hair, too. Said she was on her way to, not Avara, but... To Maryburg, yes, that's it. I see. Uh, Sam, can you go to the map for a second and show me where she's talking about? Sure. Yeah, it's like over in Germany. It's like the Nürburgring. I was grabbing the oh, scrolling. Mayor Bird. I wonder why it's fucking called that. Well, you see, there are a bunch of mare folk there, and it's near a mountain. <laughs> Mayor Bird. Wait, can you, can you... Oh my god, Nico, get down. Oh god, hold on a second. <laughs> my dog is climbing on my chair. <laughs> doggo! Doggo! Doggo, doggo. Doggo time. He's being a whingy boy and needs attention. 
Okay. Uh, can you ping that again? I is dealing with dog. Uh, it's to the oh, east of Deathic Dale. To the east of Deathic Dale. Okay. Slightly southeast. To Maribird. Ah, oh, Valatha's own tower. Yep. Huh. Okay. Well, that's that's great to know. Huh. Wasn't why I was coming here to find out, but that is very helpful. Um, I hope right. it does uh, help you find whoever you're looking for. It, me too, hopefully. Um, what I was actually hoping to speak about is if you knew anything about the Volcanic Forge. I suppose I'll make a roll for that. Hmm. Hmm. I can't say I know anything myself, but I think I've heard the name before. We've got libraries around here and bards for plenty. If you spend a few days asking around, I'm sure you'll find someone or something that might know what you're seeing. Okay. Well, that's helpful. It's very helpful. Feel free to peruse the libraries to your heart's content, and, well, you've seen bards before. They're always eager to share. <laughs> so it seems. Uh, should I go try and rescue her? She probably should learn to deal with it a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. Enjoy her suffering. <laughs> I'm kidding. But yes, she'll figure things out for herself. She usually does. Mm-hmm. Well, at least it won't be as bad as the other day. She just kept letting a guy beat her in a bar fight. She what? Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> Across the lake, uh, we were staying in the Rose Tower area for a little bit. And the bar fire's happening. She decided to get involved, provoked the barbarian uh, doing the bar fight, and told him to keep hitting her until he got it out of his system. Can't believe she's all right. The poor thing was so frail when she was a child. Uh, look, if you ever see her dad, don't mention what happened, please. He'll track that boy down and kill him. I will keep that in mind. To her credit, though, she took the headbutts quite well. Oh, I'm sure she's still alive, after all. Not concussed or anything, you're sure? Well, she doesn't seem concussed, uh, but I mean, I'm not entirely an expert on it. Hmm, maybe I should pull her out just in case. All right, I'll wait here a moment. I see her will go over and clap her hands. Boys, girls. Please give little Zena some room. Look at her, she's about to start hyperventilating. Um, you all know better than to crowd a grasp, even one from such an esteemed bloodline. As you know, ours. She'll point to herself. Come, come. You better behave than this. And uh, look, you're s practically stamping on that poor centaur's hooves. Behave. Chastised bards will aww part ways long enough for her to not grab Zena but grab Tetiana's hand. Come with me, sweetheart. Oh, um, th yes. thank you. Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, it's a his uh, family here, so she's good. So come along, Zena. You too. It gets stampede. And just 
this not the stampede that were. Oh. No. That's it's right. Not the first time it, it runs in the family. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Gregor, could you make sure everyone gets back to class safe and sound? Of course, Marcia. Come on, everyone. Show's over. Get back to your studies. As I will start after dispensing spankings. There's a mix of uh, alarm and arousal at that threat. <laughs> the most of them will go like, uh, is that a threat or an endearment? Yeah, the, the salamander girl literally says, yes, daddy. And starts like following after you guys till he just grabs her scruff and pulls her back. And Marcia will take the lot of you down to the tavern. Blip. Yana will you know, squidge in, take a seat. Welcome back. I'm glad to oh. see you survived. Yes, takes a deep breath. Well, that's it out. Yeah. That's, uh, that's why I attempt to try and run incognito. Yeah, I can kind of see why now. I mean, you'll have to learn how to deal with them eventually. I don't think fireballing them is a good idea. But... No, but... You have to at least learn how to talk to them somewhat. I mean, I am you're always... talking to them. That's the difference. It's hard to explain. But that's for later. Right now, some something to drink would be rather nice, or you know, like something to eat. It's been rather moist and wobbly trip. <laughs> it has been quite a bit of rain. Well, the good news is that the storm's probably going to break tomorrow. At least Valstein says so. The bad news is it's turned pretty much everything into a marshy mess around here. Well, it should dry up rather quick. If the clouds or it break. should be a sore. will drift away from you for a moment to go and hug her daughter. Give her smooch on cheek. Start whispering with Kieran for a moment. Like sweeping back to a lot of you. So. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Re oh, no. Raylan says his uh, regards and well wishes. Ah, so you did meet him. Good. I was about to ask. <sighs> well, at least he didn't run away from home, just angrily trudged. Uh, it's doing well enough, so start having an adventure party and everything like that. Marcia will sigh and take a drink from the cowgirl as she's passing them out. Well, some boys will just be boys, I suppose. But you're doing well, Zena. Uh, how are you feeling? Yep. Well, 
a little bit more calm down that I don't have to deal with, you know, yeah, coders or free defense. Oh, please. Your mother's the most famous bard who's ever lived. Or damn near close to it. Certainly one who's alive still. People are going to want to see you. They hope you take after her. You're certainly as cute as her. She will pinch your cheek. Well, if that's... Nah, mom's cute, but if they wanted the freaking bar to take after her, just go after my brother instead. But your brother isn't here, and you are. Yes, and I'm a cleric, faithful, devotion, spiritual stuff. Yes, but still, talent does run in the family. Marcia will glance at her daughter, smile. And I think Lady Talanor and Kaylee here certainly have their mother's magical potential. You take me as a wizard these days, Tally, isn't that right? That's correct. I haven't seen you since you were about Neheim, but even then you had a keen mind. I pray for your success in the field. Gods know we could use more wizards in Ovara. Oh, well, thank you. Although I hope to be lo known as a, as a a great and legendary novelist and not a great and legendary wizard or something, but uh, I'm sure that'll be fine too. Yeah, why not both? Oh, I'm sure. And hey, if you need help with your uh, writing career, you've come to the best library in the Republic. There is no shortage of reference material and other aspiring writers. Well, I might just, well, that's a, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. I, uh, hmm, yeah, probably, I will probably do that. But right now, unfortunately, we have a lot, we have things to do, like, jobs and adventures and stuff and between that I'm going to, be, to putting my nose to the grindstone on these books I mean not at the moment we're not planning to go I mean the whole point of coming here was to one drop off Teddy on and to find information regarding a few things before we go out anywhere else and to drop off oh you must be the bard yes She will saunter over and give Teddy a little rub between the ears. Oh, um, yes, that's me. Hello. Um, I hope I won't be too much of a burden, but I'd very much like to study with your school for a bit. <laughs> oh, darling, you won't be a burden at all. In fact, I can tell just from a few words that you have a marvelous singing voice in there, don't you? Yana will blush. Marcia will smile. Continue ear rubbing. Yes, of course. We're well, happy to take you on. We can discuss details in the morning, if you like. For now, though, it is dreary and overcast, and perhaps you'd like to play for the room while the rest of the bods are off at school. Show me what you can do. Yana's cheeks will burn with embarrassment, but she will set down her bag and start fiddling with her instruments. Kaylee will cheer. Let's see. If, uh... Just gonna... She, uh, Santa's gonna slam back the drink and I'm like... Okay. Because you have, like, a... I'm sorry, do you have a chapel here? 
Mm -hmm. Of course, we have a dedicated chapel to Nara and Kalira. It's right down the street. You won't miss it. Okay. Yes, I would absolutely love a few minutes. That. Okay, excuse me. I'm just gonna just peek out the parking door first, left, right, and then just go around the building. I mean, why? You probably just, it would have been simpler if you just got out this door rather than go to that door. Right. You were down at the bar there. I was next to the door and I just speedily done that. Okay. As soon as you just get in there, you just close the door, press up to the altar, and like you know, the whole expression just the mask just drops off. It's like, oh God. Oh boy. Oh boy. Just goes down as much as he can to go knees and prayers and be like, Eric Dara, I have no idea how you do this. I have been to the singlest of clues how you all do this or how to do this. I give words of comfort, I give advice, I give all this and that, pleasantries, and I have no god of idea what I'm doing, at all. Like, not even the singlest idea. I have no idea where I'm going. I have no idea where I'm going to go. I am completely God's damn lost. But your motto is, one of your motto's tenets are, be good and do good. And uh, that's pretty much what Mama always said. That too. Trying to do that, but I have absolutely no fuck clue what to do. I've just been winging this this entire garden time. I have no planning. My brother can happen with the planning either. So yeah, I have. No idea what to do, no plan or nothing. I am just freaking lost. So some gentle guidance or helpful anything would be appreciated. Pretty please and kind. Just start with your faith, Santa. Hey guys. There is uh, silence in the chapel as you say your prayer. And then you notice that someone's been climbing on the altar. There's a little boot print on it. Very faint, but you 
keen sight. That's very strange, and it draws your attention to where the cover on the altar has been disturbed a little bit. It looks like there might be something under there. No, I will investigate and see what it is. All right. It looks like. Well, give me a give me an investigation check. Get on that one and just fuck it all up. That would be funny, but yeah, you know, it could happen. <laughs> there you go. You're welcome. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, Zena, there is. There is writing underneath here. It looks like it's in Celestial. But as you run your fingers over these some divine runes that have been uncovered with the shifting of this altar cloth, you could swear for a moment that they they shift in the light in common to the Arunan tongue, which you're familiar with. I, I assume you do speak you read Arunan, right? Yes, both. Okay, that's good. Uh, yeah, so let me, let me tie that out for you. Uh, oh, what was his fucking name again? I'm trying to remember. Uh, what was the fire god's fire? No, the hobgoblin god again. Agarish? Agarish? Yes. Get fucked, pull my Agarash as a power move. Follow the human to destiny. <laughs> oh. oh no, you misread. They're a patisser, Esther. It was follow the human to density. <laughs> I mean, there there's a very dense human over here, that's that's true. That's true, yes. The gods clearly want you to just bang Selena. Shag your cousin, come on. <laughs> Where's that banjo proficiency? <laughs> well, she's right there somewhere. She's not in this town. Yeah, no. she's uh, like an entire town away. They, they left. How do you know that? She's fucking stupid enough to be there too, you know? She's not stupid. She's it, just a little simple, but yeah, she. She, she might idiot. also have banjo it. proficiency. Yes. Like a dink, burn, dink, burn, dink, burn, dink. You know what? In Bard Town, it's needed. <laughs> it's true. You, if anything, you need a banjo proficiency just because banjo is the instrument that most sounds like a punchline to a joke. It doesn't really matter what that joke is. Although there's the classic, but a dink, burn, dink, burn, dink. Like banjo just has that sound. It's the punchline of musicians. Oh, what was that? Uh, what was the name of that movie again with the whole where that came from, the dueling banjos thing? Not Providence. Uh, You know the classic movie where they got the dueling badger going? Nobody? Uh, nope. Yeah, nothing. Squeak, squeak like a pig boy. Oh, you know? deliverance. Oh, that, yeah, that's deliverance. Deliverance. Okay, what's deliverance? Yeah. 
if the livers are taught anything, you don't need a lot of fucking IQ to be a really good banjo player. Follow the human to death for a moment. Just thinks. I'm actually gonna have to do fucking intelligence sort to see if that means literally or just figuratively. Because, yeah. Holy shit, good going. Ah, good goading. And you know what? Uh, because I'm, uh, what's it called? Because it's the end of the day and all that stuff, I will probably just guide myself. If I see it on DC. Uh, well, what what is the intelligence check for specifically? To understand what the fuck this is. Uh, if well, it means literally or metaphorically or um, you know all that stuff. Probably what... both. You you don't know what destiny is, but follow human. the The question here is what human. Uh, with an 18 intelligence, well, you you saw two humans over there. Uh, those are really the only ones you've met around here who might have some sort of heroic destiny. Or oh, my cousin. Yeah, or it could be Raylan, yeah. Maybe you need to go chasing to Raylan. That would make sense. He is an adventurer. These two look like they are settled, like settled individuals. Oh, not, yeah, that that, not that that count discounts them in necess necessarily. Well, I just mentioned. Well, I don't know if I understood this vagueness or read this right, but follow the human to destiny. Well. If it's a sign, I'll, I'll go by it. If I misread, well, you probably tell me next time, or I'll figure out once I'm in. You can pass a message along to any passing guard in case, the, I guess. Oh boy. Okay. Just adjust her jaw. Just get off her knees. Just straighten herself up. And takes a deep breath. And put some ass back on. Okay. Let's get back to Bagger. Thank for all the help, but I probably can't be worthy of your notice one day. Just get the closest and open and closest door she sets up. Trots, well, clops along. Is this an actual back door, or does it just say employees only? Uh, no, it's a it's a door you can just walk through. Okay, cool. Sweet. When, when you open it, you do hit Kieran in the butt, though. So, kick! <laughs> Scooch in. Right, the door handle is here, dude. Yeah, that means it would push in the direction of Kieran. 
The door, the oh, door. Yeah, it opens inwards, and the then... middle of the door doesn't hit him in the butt. The edge of the yeah. door hits him in the butt. It scrapes along the cake. You'll clench up. In case there's no in. frosting. <laughs> well, not yet. Unfortunately, he uh, he passed up the opportunity for some cream. Yeah, Kieran will take a knee next to Aska. Well, that's a hell of a coincidence. Uh, five or six years ago, though. Mm-hmm. I don't think your sister went there to, like, join the Mare Guard, do you? No. I wouldn't imagine she would. That doesn't seem like something she'd do. Good. That's good. Uh... And it's just a couple days up river. We could probably detour, right? If people are willing to. <laughs> I can't yeah, certainly sure make everyone will. go off one way just for that. I'd be willing. Mareburg, though. Why don't she go to Mareburg? And if she was traveling, why didn't she come home first? Mm. Too much. Too much to think about for it. And too little information. Well, then, yeah, let's, let's plan on going that way. Uh, yeah, it's, we'll have to cross a mountain if we head up river, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Hmm. <laughs> uh, just thought, thought just occurred to me. It'd be so weird, wouldn't it, that... Somehow our sisters' entire disappearances are somehow related, wouldn't it? Yeah, no, that's that's impossible, probably, right? I mean, it's years apart and halfway across the world from each other. Hmm. I just don't know, Kieran. I just don't know. But I can't say I'm happy. It's crumbs of information, but it's information. I mean, yeah, if, if nothing else, we'll learn more there. And, uh, you know, the centaurs there, uh, you know, they, they know my family, uh, and tallies. I'm sure they'll help us. And if family connections don't help with that, I'm more than willing to do favors to yeah. get the information I need. Honestly, probably the best part about hearing all this is that she is alive still. I, I know, I, I know twin wise that she was. I always had the feeling she was, but. It's hard to believe it sometimes. Yeah, I have a feeling. Uh, we'll, we'll find him. We will. Somehow, yeah. some way. Yeah, we will.
Kieran is going to come in and give you a hug, Aska. I'll give him a hug back. It's an emotional time for both of us. Yeah. Roz just smiles and does a little tail swishy. Callie woos. Yeah. Is there anything else you guys would like to do in the tavern tonight? Elsewise, you can check into rooms and such. Yeah. So I have to wonder, does the tavern have, like, the Hashat room? The, the room. extra big room for fucking your oh. fan boy to pieces? No, no. No, no. Well, I mean, there is that one. But I more I mean, like, isn't this, like, the that place where, like, exists. where, like, the first Tardivacking happened? Oh, where... no. Oh. I th did that? Did one of those incidents happen a year in Death of Dale? I mean, I'm pretty sure it did. This is, like, the oh. first time. Oh, no. <laughs> This was the uh, first drunken stoner party, in which case you just destroyed Cass. Oops. <laughs> Annihilated him. Oops. It was like an ocean on Portan's head. <laughs> Some of those floorboards are still never the same. Surprisingly fertile, though. You can grow plants in them now. <laughs> Uh, I want to avoid Someone dropped a Warcrest sandwich down there a week ago. No, there's a field of it. Yeah, definitely no, want to avoid that room if I can. You can. Uh, Kieran cannot. However, he is in fact uh, intentionally pushed into that room by the innkeeper. You know what? Fair. Poor guy. Kieran does not think, especially since he's sleeping alone <laughs> until Irina shows up, like a couple hours later. Alright, now to roll. Hey man, what were you up to? Hold on a second, I need to roll something important. Oh no! <laughs> Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> so, I got, I got good news for you, Ina. Yeah. Yay! Kieran's in the shot room. You're in the room below. <laughs> uh -oh. oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Well, I mean... <laughs> well, uh, that happens. All right. How how explosive is Rena going to make this? History oh, repeats no. itself. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I hope she crits just for the memes. No. Uh, okay. I was <laughs> hoping she crit too. Fucking Karen though. He is making a rain in there at least. Yeah. Irina can come up uh, before that happens. Give yeah, you a hug. sure she will. Give <laughs> <laughs> you a hug. Oh, we met a salamander who needed some motherly care. That's all. Oh, no. You adopted this one? Only for the I day. I mean, actually, if you have, that would be oh, yay. <laughs> no, she's too old. There's some brainiac working on a big math problem. Your bunny friends volunteered you to go pick up some glass for her. Oh, right. There was a brief mention of that, but everyone was looking into other things. Uh, asking, Kieran both were asking sister stuff. Ah, yeah, yeah. Anything I noticed, Kieran had a little bit of a mope on afterwards. Uh... Hmm. Poor baby. Irina will and switch just... to Sylvan. Say, you sure it wasn't in the flirt with this one? She'll nod slightly at Selena. I did uh... tell him to try and uh, spread his wild oats a little. I have no idea. I would never listen in or tease him about it. Uh, okay, you don't have insight training. Well, that's good. Ray's such a good girl. She give you big ear scritchies. Ah, yeah. And swing herself into this chair here and make mom talk with Marcia. Of course. 
just going to do mom talk. I'm going to return to the uh, Sammy table and drink tea. Yeah, that's good. Ah, uh, yes, the mother-daughter table. Yeah, exactly. I like see exactly where this is going, and I notice that the daughter of this equation is very pregnant right now. And it's just gonna return to. <laughs> when, are you, when are you gonna get me grandbabies? <laughs> okay, no, Irina does not want to hormonal traps. She's fine. Let's think she of all knows the grandbabies. At least not on the first date. Although, you know, if you did, it's fine. Hmm. Irina does certainly approve of Sam, just saying. I'm aware that she does, but stop it. No. <laughs> it's just gonna like put a hand on Sam and then with the other hand motion survive. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, the party can spend the night here if everyone would kindly mark off a silver for the insay. Yep, sure. Thanks. Except for Kieran, who gets charged a gold. Just kidding. <laughs> Damn, I'm no longer at 69 silver. No. Ah, <sighs> oh, what a shame. Mm -hmm. What a shame. Wait, I can turn 10 copper into a silver again. Okay. How long are we going to be here in the Thickdale? In the town part? Well, well we get a few days of uh, at least information a... gathering. Uh, yeah, well, how, how long does that downtime action take? I think three it's three days. days. It is. Kieran right. is also Where's four the... days away from leveling up, and you know that'd be nice. Where is yeah, the... we could probably oh, yeah. just spend the extra day and then level. Where is the library here? Which one's uh, the library? There are many libraries. There's this one, and there's Marcia's private library, which is where she and Selena are going to be going. Talonor is going to sequester herself in wherever the most stories are. That would definitely be uh, the Shaw Library. You can hang out with Super Prego, who can't really do much other than read books anyway. She's happy sure. to have some company. Yeah. Kieran uh, is a rogue, but he is perfectly capable of learning rogue things from bards. Absolutely. I guess I'll and the, the, they are the expert class, so same mm -hmm. category. Uh, would Ross like to team up looking for stuff on the forge? give it like an advantage thing uh yeah that sounds like a good idea hmm. all right what would you like Ina to look into also i noticed in dark mode for whatever reason experience training is in like solid black text even though everything else looks fine Fascinating. Is it? yeah okay so uh you got somebody on the forge you got somebody on uh oh, it is which part? B will be asking about uh, the blind sight artifact or magic item. Makes sense. And uh, we got fox wolves or a different from a different plane or continent. And then we got the kobolds and wyverns. And then spontaneous undead, or uh, not spontaneous undead, uh, not listless. It's not just what's a good English word to describe them. I think spontaneous is or spontaneously appearing is pretty close. Well, yeah, but it's the but their actions, their form, how they are. How do you describe them, not what they are? What you mean, like how Un they're the shambling? Bound? Taskless? 
non-reactive or well, what's that word? Uh, thinking about it. Non-reactive reanimated dead. Because they're not reacting to your presence like normal fucking undead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. And they're just they just exist. So that was the word. Non-reactive reanimated dead. So yeah, those are the things we have other than, you know, personal shit that you all got. Right, and the scales, the fucking scales of Humphrey Bogart. Oh, yeah. Yes, the Canara scales are also a thing to look into. I'll, I'll look into kobolds. Okay. Uh, if Oscar and Ros are looking into Forge, then do I get, uh, are you able to look into the scales? I can take scales. Too well. Is either Tally or B able to help? Or what? Me uh, and Hedra with the uh, research. Uh, no, uh, B is help. doing the black. Oh, Samira. I'm doing yeah. my own. Okay. Yeah. Tally, you're the most intelligent one about you know the whole magical nature of the fucking uh, thing I'm about. That we know. Maybe. No, you're you're pretty much the most knowledgeable when it comes to the arcane arts that we know. Uh, I mean, in the is... within this group, I maybe yes, I have a five in Arcana. Yeah. So, do you have anything planned to research here, or do you think you can handle the? non-reactive reanimated dead situation that's been happening try to find information on that i guess i can All right. Oh, God. Intelligence ability check, eh? Yeah, that is how you do stuff for that. Here we go. With my incredible brain. Fuck! Aww. No questions. I don't get anything, yeah. That is a real shame. Yeah. I guess I'll do the intelligence here. I'll spend my inspiration for this. That's... No, yeah. I don't think I have... I mean, I here, here's, the, I have... here's the real fucking problem, is that I'm still illiterate. <laughs> <laughs> And it turns That's out that there just weren't many books in Draconic. There. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sam doing the uh, the majority of the reading on your team. Yeah. You don't have a skill that would have been useful for that, or right? No, it's an inte it's inte I don't have a single trained intelligence skill on my ten int character. No, it says an ability intelligence check with a proficiency relevant. Yeah, I don't. I don't have yeah, one relevant. I have insight, perception, sleight of hand, stealth, and survival. I am full on ranger. I have no intelligence skill. <laughs> oh dang! And no proficient intelligence. In fact, I don't. Wait, since I have no proficiencies, I don't think I could have made that test anyway. <laughs> no, you still make the test. It's just be an intelligence check. Yeah, it's just it? no. Okay. Yeah, no proficiency right. bonus. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then yeah, this, this is not. 
So you guys probably notice over the course of three days that Ina just, she's like determined. On the first day, she's like sits down, like we're going to learn some things about these kobolds. And then she realizes there's lots of reading and she can't even read most of the books. And so it's boring and she's getting notes and she can't read those. And she's sad and irritated and bored, bored and also bored and also bored. <laughs> All right. So how many panties go missing? Good question. All of them! <laughs> Ida just gets itchy hands at some point. Uh. So I'm gonna do my roll here. Let's see. Oh, Jesus, you guys. <laughs> okay. I had 15. I did spend my inspiration, so. I mean, you didn't. Once you teamed up, you didn't need to. I yeah, wasn't you got out of tally. No, she went to, she's to do something else. Oh, okay, oh. right. Fair enough. Fair enough. I was on the scale. She was on the undead. Is it just an intelligence check? Uh, this would be yes. Intelligence Arcana for you if you're handling uh, the business about the undead. Okay, I'll use my inspiration. All right. Uh, you don't have to. <laughs> you can you can actually just have free help from Selena because she oh, literally right. can't do anything else okay. other than just sit around and read books. Well, at fifteen, so yeah. That Congratulations, that's uh, the two questions. And I believe there was one from Ask and Roz as well. Yeah. Uh, uh, do you want me to do it or do you want Roz to do it? Well, Roz has an intelligence of zero, so... Oh, well, of course it's I have an intelligence of zero. Do you have history wow. trained religion? No, but I have nature. Maybe we could do a like last known location of it and mm, try and get it from there. wouldn't be nature. Hmm. No, all right, raw dog it. We'll have advantage right. from working together. Great. Nice. Well, that that does help. Looks like a, a, that like a, the book is gonna tumble out of the bookshelf, movie style, bonk you on the head, falls to the ground, opens at exactly the page you need. Wait, I have a question. That would have been religion for. Intelligence, right? Uh, for which one? For the scales. Uh, for the scales, uh, that would have been mystery, actually, because you just wanted to know the last known location of them. Okay, then, yeah, I know. That's a first case. Okay. I had been religious. This thing I'm about to add an extra two to that. No, but it's fine. You got a 15 anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's two questions from each of the successful groups, and unfortunately, Ina and uh, Sam just spend the whole time boning instead of doing anything productive. I still need to roll. Uh, that's right. Which one are you looking into? Uh, the whether or not anyone knows of a... Right, uh, yes. Yeah. All right, that will be a history check. Or you could do carouse because you yeah, are surrounded I was by bards. Yeah, planning to carouse, and also would would uh, would Death Egg Dale count as a stronghold for social carousing? It does. You you have yeah. access to Marcia here, and you are friends of Zena, so yeah, you can. I will also use my inspiration. I didn't need to, but... Well... Okay. Well... In fact, if you guys want to drop your questions in the 70 chat, I can answer them over the weekend. That sounds like sure. a good plan. I say weekend, yeah. I mean the week. <laughs> Yeah, because I assume you guys are still going to probably just go to the uh, 
whatchamacallit, the elven ruins first anyway. Yeah, you have yeah. to grab glass on the way through, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the glass will probably be, like, right in the same area. Perfect. Yeah. Good. So yeah, uh, before we call it for the night, how are you guys getting there? It is 36 miles away from the dale. Uh, I and thought we were going to walk along it, because I mean, like, it's right along the path, isn't it? Yeah, there is a land yeah, path. It's a just walk, it's just dangerous. I'm a two-day trip, so... Yeah. Makes sense to me. If we keep to the shore of the giant ass mega lake, we don't have to take, you know, the mountainous ass that splits it. Unless it's a fucking sheer ass cliff, like fucking Dover's. Right cliffs of Dover's. No, it is just rocky mountains. Uh, there is there is soft land and beaches you can walk along. Yeah, that seems like only actual sensible path to take. I mean, we could try and rent a boat if we wanted to and take it out there. Oh, oh, oh. Jimmy, we would need a Fucking barge. Huh. You're no, not taking like... Yana with you, so you could just get like, like long robots. I'm... No, we couldn't. It'd just be like we'll two robots. the fucking heavy waders on the other team. Yeah, no, you guys can you guys can manage stairs. with a rowboat uh, if you want, but. Yeah, you, you can also walk. It's up to you. Uh, we should probably just walk. God damn. <laughs> hey, look at that. Nice. Or something. God, God damn it. <laughs> Make a mom pressure. Fucking mom pressured like crazy. Arena wants grandbabies. Wants grandbabies. <laughs> you know, I thought you were just gonna wait until you found a dragon, but okay. I know, right? <laughs> Look, so dragons are nice I and know. all, but those are rare and they don't have babies very often. Have you considered this nice cat folk? Have you seen this fertile meow? <laughs> she is ripe for the plucking. You've already deflowered her. Look. God damn it. Playing is still look for a dragon won't... in the meantime. <laughs> and don't worry, she won't voice it and it. Oh, it. oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, I saw it coming oh, and I, I didn't stop it and I could have. <laughs> uh, demerit. Demerited forever. <laughs> uh, let's see. At the end of the downtime, uh, which will be four days. Uh, Arena will offer to go to Mareburg ahead of you guys and try and poke around if you'd like. See if she can okay. turn I'm up sure anything be... for you. Yeah, yeah I thought that would be appreciated to... by the both of us. She wanted to go there anyway for the, um, to see Jacquard's grave, right? Yes, indeed. Now she can call it a workcation. Yeah, that's so unhealthy. <laughs> Business expenditure. Oh, no, okay, yeah, that's healthy. Yeah, yeah business Look, expenditure, right, yes. Any the the person who has no money. Important. Look, anywhere the Blue Knight goes is always a workcation. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's that's Ina's problem with her. Yeah, it is. Here, here, Unfortunately, work, the work part of her workcation tends to be danger. Yeah, no, Kieran like will an alive mom. probably have already told you, like, she pulled in a bunch of money from... Like this caravan route they did all the way up to, you know, Ignaferis and back. And she immediately turned around and just dumped like all of it except a couple coppers into that deaf school and just wandered away. He was like, What? But we, the things you could buy with the thing. What? Yeah. Yeah, it just that, keeps that, happening. The things you could buy, the money you could make. 
Don't worry, I've already had the talk with her, and that is that if, you know, you manage to squeeze a kid or two out of her, she is forced by rule to keep three magical items for each of them for their own adventuring, especially since she spent so many years worrying about me when I could have been running around with magical studded leather and a bow. Well, yeah, or we could have not run around at all, is her argument. Yeah, I know it is, but now she knows it doesn't work, so you've got to help me. <laughs> you've got to help me yep. persuade her to keep some some sweet loot for the kids. Darn yeah. it. He will Just try. He has disadvantage. Send <laughs> Just send her to a psych therapy with Sena. It's going to work. No. Trust me. No, look, this this is a person who's been adventuring for like four digits of years, right? Yeah. She is using a masterwork sword and mundane gear because she keeps giving everything away. <laughs> I know, it's so irritating for Ivan. It's just like, Mom, please! <laughs> no, but there are other people who need more. You know what, over this discussion, she probably it probably comes across her and just, there's the light that flashes on behind her eyes as she placed both hands on Kieran's. Kiri, I figured it out. Yeah, what? We have to give them to her as gifts, themed, with a name on them. She can't give them away. Hmm. <laughs> if you put something romantic and cheesy on the inside of a sheath, she double can't give it away, both because of the sentimental value and the cheesiness. It's perfect. Hold on. I gotta, gotta roll a whiz save here. Okay. okay, no, he immediately labs. I mean, I kind of already did. <laughs> <laughs> what? What'd you do? Well, you know that oak branch we got from the Vader tree? Oh, yeah? Yeah, I had that uh, shaped for her, and I, I gave it to her as a present. Oh, nice. What shape did you go with? Uh... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping he wouldn't... When he mentioned the branch, I was like, please don't go there. Please. I mean, I had a feeling it was going there. I knew there. it was going to go there. Every, but we all knew it was exactly where that was going. I was hoping yeah. he would do something more tasteful with it. But no. no. Yeah, I was no. hoping for, like, a sword uh, handle or breath. something. Or, you <laughs> no, know, I don't know. Yeah. A wooden bracelet or something. No, no. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the, the, hand, the hands you know the that were on top of his hands move up instead <laughs> to his shoulders. And she shakes him a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I wanted to keep alive, not just wet. What What else am I going to do with a branch? <laughs> she Magic liked it thing. a lot, too. I'm, I oh, God. did. You know what? No, actually, I'm just glad for her. I was just going to very hurriedly self-internalize this and just be like, no, no, that's, you know what? Fair enough. And I'm glad that oh, it's going man, well. The branch of a Vader would have made a really cool, like, magic rod or wand or something. You did make a magic rod. <laughs> It did. <laughs> for spell casting! Yeah, no, yeah the, the spell is power spell worth casting. Don't worry. It's... Don't worry, Kina. Mean, I have... It changes the weather. It causes floods. Don't worry, Kina. I have a branch for making into an actual magic rod. I need, something, I need something that can make, be made into, like, the the covers of a book so I can make an arcane grimoire. That is what I need. <laughs> So you want some magical, uh, like, leather thing or something like that? Some skin? Uh, maybe. Uh, or... Might I recommend long pork? Necrobancers have been doing it for generations. <laughs> Very affordable for magical bindings for books. Oh, no, no, no. You want to get, like, the skin of, like, some giant magical sheath so you can have it as, like, parchment sort of thing. Wait, did you, you just mean... say giant magical sheath? Like, some kind of <laughs> <laughs> moon giant Sheep. foreskin? Giant Sheep. Yeah. Something to make the cover, the hard cover of a book with, like either Sorry, like I'm not, the bark I'm not hearing from a, a no to the bark from a magic skin. tree, or yeah, the leather of like a magical creature or a monster would be good. Would I would I direct your attention to a certain monster that says to be taken residence in a elven ruin that we're supposed to be visiting? A magic oh, that creature, sounds honest. perfect. A dragon. Oh, yeah. What kind of a monster? Yep. A dragon-ish uh, one. They're like dragons, but really dumb, but not flying like a wyvern. Hmm. No, that's a dragon. Oh, you mean a windworm? <laughs> allow me to direct you to Ida's fucking inter like not nature. 
Uh, no, no, never mind. Wait, probably it's a dragon. It's a dragon, a dragon type thing. Point. When you know it, like yeah, you exactly. have, yeah, yeah, she definitely looked into you it. You probably have like the dragon chart dragons. memorized or whatever. Like so, you know, yeah, like yeah. whether it's a Drake or Lindworm or all that. Yeah, yeah, she probably does actually. This one's a worm, worm. Uh, Irina will tell you that you're all wrong. That a Dracul is not, in fact, a scaly at all. Oh, well, what is it? It's a lion. Yes, that's right. It's a lionine creature with great big bat wings. Some of them hmm. are fire, so you should be careful. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. yeah. You'll probably want yeah, a way to bring it like... down. Kitty. Otherwise, it'll just circle around and shoot you to death. Look, if it flies around and breathes fire, but is not sexy, then it's clearly some kind of dumb version of a dragon that I like a wither. I only can ca I only have three sets of magic missiles I could shoot, so. Well, so. hopefully, if we're going into ruins, we aren't going to be fighting it in the air anyway. Although I, could, I can just shoot at it with fire bolts. Yep. No, well, no, fire probably isn't as good. Well, that's all you got. It, it, if it had wow. Drac in the name, she probably looked it up and then pouted when she found out it wasn't sexy. Well, if you act, I was going to say, if you heard of Tarnak Dracul, it sort of got that whole emblem thing going with it on, so... Oh, I think that doesn't link well. Well, I spent all my time research. I spent all my time researching this undead thing instead of doing instead of writing writing my book. I oh, could have. Well, that looks I, actually majestic. If we were, if we didn't want, I could have like made Whoa. some kind of lightning cantrip, I guess. All right, fine. I do want one, and I'm gonna name him Toothy Bites or Mister Crispy Flap. Mister Roar. I was expecting uh, a more monstrous description, like a uh, Manticore. Oh, well, I do have Chroma Clasher. Kind of racist. Yeah, what the heck? No, I mean the actual, like, beastly ones, not the people ones. Does not compute. I thought they were ex I thought they went. Yeah, they, they, they're extinct. <laughs> they're... Oh, they think I didn't yeah, there, there's, there's no monster manticores. There is just manticore girls. Disregard all that, then. Yeah, yeah. Man <laughs> Manticore is, like, the scientific name for the cat folk. Like, you know, Homo sapiens. It's yep. just, this is just the manticores of meows. Yeah, well, disregard well, no, all that, the, then. I forgot. The scientific name for cat folk is Sphinxborn. Sphinx, sorry, not manticoreborn. This is, this is yeah, the old also manticores. manticores. manticores I yeah, really yeah, forgot bats. that you didn't have, like, cat monster bats. manticores in here. Monster calls, monster calls. There you go. A witch friend. Yay, Rahit. Yeah. Rahit. A lovely baby. And she got to do the coolest thing ever, which was when you're on a boat, actually cast control weather. Yay. So yes. What happened to that big baby Control side? weather? Do you mean control wind? No, control weather. She used a big scroll, like a high, like, you know, the like big A-level level scroll. No, 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 no. That, 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 that was a shot being uh, by the, the spooky ghost in her head. No, we've also had an occasion where Rahi used that scroll while we were doing shit around uh, the Anubian village and the hobos. She was very excited about using all of that big power at once. I would too. It's an eight no. level spell. Okay, yeah, I will like skill to... test and all. Him <laughs> anyway. No, that. Anyway, oh, sorry. Yeah, carry on. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so, if you guys are going to head up there on foot, I will require travel rolls. Uh, okay. Where is it? You guys are headed to exactly? Party is okay. going to. Tokyo. Right. Straight to uh, You have six. Seven people, so that's enough for everyone to have advantage. So you're good there. Okay. What is our okay? Let's, let's take a look here. Let's go at what? Well, I think I'm the only one with a six in survival. I'm pretty sure I'm no, garbage at all of the travel rolls. Um, let's check. I'm a five in survival, so I, have I can three in survival. I can do either navigation or provision. I've got our scouting. 
Oh yeah, wait, I have cartographers, so I can do... So yeah, you can navy, and then that I can means help that Ariel my... can provision. Yeah, I oh, have a yeah. plus five in the herbalism kit for provisioning. And then that is a tally is on earner rolls for assists. Sounds good. We all got it figured out then. Thanks, Ty. All right. Yeah, 13. It's not great. Oof. Rolled again. You have advantage. Oh, yeah. Forgot to turn it on. You should just have it on naturally. That's better. Hooray. Oh, hell yeah. I swap. All right, you have one success. Good job. It's only one out of 18 and... It's higher than 18? Yes, going on foot into the the mountain area is is the dangerous choice. Ah. Yeah, lake safe. Mountain not. So, uh, some some things are going to happen. It is a beach, but it's a beach directly under a mountain that you know is inhabited oh by monsters of various descriptions. Uh, so yeah. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So I need to take off 30 SP for the downtime. Mm-hmm. Do make sure to take off your downtime costs and lifestyle costs as well. Yep. Uh, how many days of travel? It is, I believe, just one. It is a day and a half, so it'll be a three-day total journey. I'm just going to take off the one now yeah. and then two later, so I don't forget. Yeah. Or double count it later. Taking off the food as well for yes. the travel. Did we make sure to do that. Yep. And now we definitely need to make some money. Yeah, we're broke again. <laughs> well, luckily you're going <laughs> you all to are. a dungeon. You're all broke. I still got 80 silver. Hey, I still got... 180 silver. It is May the 1st at uh, the end of the session. And the end of your journey. Oh no, we're going to find Star Wars. Yeah. No, that's May the 4th. It's coming. Oh, that's May the 4th, right, right. 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 No, it's the 1st of May. No, it's May the 4th be with it's you. It's gonna be May. No. The, the, the date in-game is May the 1st. Yes. Yeah. yes. Star Wars Day it's will be in a few months. It's the 1st of May. It's the 1st of May. Outdoor parking starts today. Woo! Well, let's outdoor fucking because Sam's going home but you know yeah she's sad her first girlfriend leaving her for a bit Aww. uh yeah let's do XP shall we yeah we're gonna get a level but we can't actually level <laughs> yep well, that'll happen did yep. you explore a new location yes you made yep. it to Deathic Dale did you discover a new interesting truth about the world? Mm, yes, other planes potentially. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Other Those planes. portals we found might connect to other, or probably do connect to other planes. Yep. The yep, yep, yep. Uh Did you advance or complete a quest? <laughs> we sure Got have. Got here. Yeah, you dropped off the pony at daycare. Yeah, pony daycare. Good job. Uh, did you protect the people of Iona from a deadly threat? No, you did not fight anything. Nope. No. <laughs> you nope. fucked around in town for all session. Did yep. you insta- for two sessions now? <laughs> yep. Did you instigate lasting change in the world at large or the life of a companion? Yeah. Yeah. Lasting change in Tatiana's. Yes. Yeah. You got her to school. Uh, did you fulfill a long-term goal? I don't mm, think so. No. Oh, wait. Mm-hmm. No. Okay. So that's 4 XP for everybody. Uh, let's check goals. 
Uh, let's oh, see. I forgot to fill out mine today. Learn about exciting new questing opportunities for the Dale. Hooray! Yeah, you did do that. Uh, Aska, let's see. You succeeded, so yes, you'll get to uh, check that off. Woo! I need uh, to change my goal because we're not going to get the witch back anytime soon. So probably. I need to change that. Yeah, that's probably uh, a good goal to change. To yep. Blah, blah. But hey, you're in Bard Town, and uh, there sure are a lot of bards here who love telling stories. Speaking I've of which... I've also thought of a new long-term goal. Earn a thousand gold. That is a long-term that's a goal. Lot. That's <laughs> a lot of gold. I feel like it's achievable, though. Oh, yes, it's certainly achievable. You don't want to just snuggle a dragon anymore for your long-term goal? I mean, I always do, but I don't think that's going to be experience gaining yet, and I don't know when it'll ever happen. That's true. Probably not for a while, at least. Yeah. Probably not. It's even less likely now that I've been, I've somehow been savened into a relationship with the first character I encountered properly. Yay! I mean, but, you can always just say no. I mean, you could, but on the other hand, a fertile, innocent meow. She was very sweet meow. and supremely nice. And look how cute she is. I mean, come on. You can't yeah. really do much better. You're so precious. She's very Dude. precious. Uh, yeah, that is a level for Kieran. And he actually gets to become level two. Congrats. Yay. And he immediately gets to become level three with you guys. Yeah. Woo. Woo. As soon as he or actually he has uh no, he does not have enough money to level up either. We're all looking at this quest like I'm a hum money. Yep. Gotta get you some muns. Yep. Uh, but yeah. well, the leveling is half cost, isn't it? Because you said uh if you change skills for if you take uh, a level in a, yeah, yeah, in uh, in Rose Tower or a other place that has uh, appropriate class training facilities. Yes, you get uh, you get to have your costs. Appropriate but, uh, class training to your class, right? Yes, to your to class. The class you're taking. So, for example, uh, a bard or a rogue, uh, Death of Dale, perfectly great. If you want to be a wizard, a ranger too, go... because I also expert class. Uh yeah yeah yeah. Actually, when uh, when sixty comes properly, that might be a good way to uh, change that system is to just be based not on class but on class group. Yeah. But anyway, the expert, uh, yeah, that makes the sense. whatever Warrior, the fuck, the arcane, uh, the divine, yes, priest group. Uh, so Rose Tower probably like what oh, and wizards and uh, rangers. Yeah, Rose wizards, Tower has rangers. Oh, they have a. Uh, a druid available cleric zone. Do you think? Uh, yeah, yes, they have the, the Temple of Nefri. They have the Nefri Temple. Oh, right, the Nefri Temple. Nefri's, right, right, right. Uh, clergy and for druids. Good, 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 good. But you do have to actually take your, you know, pull up downtime at the whole place. And uh, you did only leave two weeks of money for Zach, so you probably should go back to town before he sells your horses. Yes, we do need to yeah. get back there. But it's been like what uh three four, five days maybe or so yeah it's Six been days? less it's been about a week so far so you should have plenty of time to get back yeah uh but yeah, yeah i left them fucking three left them three weeks just in case so and then four days in town so that's okay seven. so that gives us 24 cut down 12 days so a bit under two weeks by the time we finally make it back to him after we're done in here you should just make it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, in the RP channel, feel free to do stuff from your three days of downtime, if anything. Uh, four days, right? Because yes, of, um, yes, sorry. Yes, four, four days, days yeah. of downtime. And don't Perfect. forget to post your questions for me to answer. And in the meantime, if you're watching on the stream on YouTube, that's it for tonight. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Well then, adios, and do take care.